Yo, what's up? Welcome back, everyone. I thought I would return to some uh, Hitman. Today, I just kind of got the itch for it. Um, I don't think I ever completed a full story run of any of the recent Hitman games. I've played loads of all three of them, put a load of hours into them, but I don't think I ever finished like a single one of them. I think I played like, I think I played about like two thirds of each of them. Um, I'm sure I've played like, well, there, there are some levels where I don't think I've really played them at all. Like the, the, the final castle level in Hitman 1, I think it is, or maybe that's Hitman 2, whichever that level is, I put like, I think I've only played that level for like half an hour or something. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll actually finally go through a whole story run. We'll see. Um, I'm sure I won't be doing it all in one sitting or anything like that. But uh, maybe over a few sessions we can uh, we can go over all the missions in, in the 2016 game. The 2016 section now contained within Hitman 3. Uh, let's see. Juniet with the four months. Thank you. Let me, um, let me open up my stream lab here as well. But yeah, I think last time I played this, I, you know, I just fucked around. I just went to a few random levels. That's usually what I do when I play Hitman, you know? I just pick it up, just, just go all over the map, go all over the three games and just go bounce from level to level randomly. Um... But this time, let's let's actually start from the beginning. Hmm. We'll probably do like master difficulty and shit like that. That's usually how I tend to enjoy the game the most. Uh, I'm, I won't be playing any missions from Hitman 3. I'm going to the first game. Uh, let's see. Hokkaido. Yeah, I don't think I did much of that level either. Or there are a few levels that I haven't really scratched. Um, yeah, Juniet, thank you for the four months. Um, Atara Zian with the with the year, thank you. Um, Salami with the 59 months as well, thank you, man. Solid with the 18 months. Naps with the year. Cheers, everyone. Um, one second. Uh -oh. But yeah, let me just take a look at all the levels. I've put a lot. I've played a lot of Paris. Um, maybe my favorite level, just with how much time I've put into it over the years. Um, Sapienza, of course. I've played a lot of Sapienza. Haven't played much Marrakesh, but played you know played a bit of it. Finished it at least once. Um, Bangkok, yeah, I haven't really put much time into the main Bangkok mission. I played, I played a bit in the, the Patient Zero DLC as well. Remember, uh, I think most of that takes place here. All right, no, no, I guess that, that, that goes around multiple maps as well. Um, Colorado, I know Colorado is one of the most criticized maps. It seems, to, they, it seems like they didn't quite land what they were going for with this map. Um, and I don't think I've, I don't think I've done this one. Yeah, yeah, once, once you get to Colorado, I think that's where I stopped playing the first one. I'm not even sure if I, um, ever even tried this map. I don't think I've, I don't think I've even tried it. Although, although it does say there, challenge completion one. So I guess I did something. Um, Hokkaido. And then, oh, that's the Hokkaido's. That's the last mission in in Hitman One. Okay. I love the vibe on this first mission in Part Two. 
this house on the shore. Miami put a lot of time into that one. Yeah, Mumbai. New York. Was this... This is DLC, isn't it? I'm not sure if this one is available to me. Haven Island. Yeah, I, I haven't touched New York. haven't touched Haven Island. Those are DLC maps, I think. Dubai in Part 3. Yeah, Dartmoor, Berlin. I think I... I th yeah, yeah, I did everything in Part 3. Remember when... when Three came out for the first time. I played through all of it on stream. Maybe it wasn't when it came out initially, but shortly after. Ambrose Island. <clears throat> New York is pretty great. Yeah, yeah, I've heard good things about the New York map. Um, but yeah, let's go all the way back to the beginning. Story, prologue. Yeah, I think this is where we should start if we want to do the, the Hitman 1 main story. Ambrose Island is new. That's, is that the one that they added, like, very, very recently? That, 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 that one is free as well, isn't it? Chronologically in the story, Ambrose Island is between Whittleton Creek and, uh, and Isle of, uh, whatever, Isle of Scale, Skull. Also, good to see you, Fishmans. Um, yeah, let's go through all these prologue missions. Basic training. Yeah, that you get some scenes in between. Let's do it. What did that say? 1999? So, this game kind of sets itself up as like a soft reboot, doesn't it? Like, it is like kind of technically a sequel to some of the other games, at Welcome least. The agent I really have no idea. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. The developers that made this uh, version of the game, um, IO, IO Interactive, isn't it they're called? Um, how many of the other Hitman games did they work on? It's a sequel that retcons heavily the poorly received game that came before it. Yeah, the, the, that was Absolution, wasn't it? That was the one that, like, really strayed away from their from the series' identity and kind of tried to be more of a generic third-person shooter kind of thing or something. I really don't know much about it. Hey, what's up, Crow? Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like? Taking lives. Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Hey, she said the thing. Are you sure about this? I am. 
There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. So, how do we explain this lore-wise? Are all these people on the boat As actors? Time. You know, this isn't really Calvin Ritter or whatever the hell his name is. He's just playing the role of Calvin Ritter. Um, I know there's like there are lots there's lots of little bits of foreshadowing and stuff on the boat here. Like you can meet several characters that become targets later on and shit like that. <laughs> So who are we... Uh, are we actually killing people here? Are there real bullets in this gun? As have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Pretty dark if we're actually killing people. Um, let me see here. Steve-O, thank you for the 43. Um, Brito with the 16 months. Thank you. Dog has gone bald, but can't stop looking badass. Always the best choice of games from you. I'm not sure if I understand entirely, but thank you. Uh, Hitman FSC with the tier one sub as well. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, I thank everyone else. Ricky with the with the two years, a, a few milestone subs today. Cheers, everyone. Um, cheers, Ricky, the big two year. My koala with the eight months as well. Nick with the fifteen. Cheers, guys. Um, yeah, we have our spidey senses thing. I might try and like not use this. I always hard I always find it hard to resist. You know, you can just utilize the uh, the map down below. I think I might try and avoid this unless I'm like looking for items in a room. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I probably won't be able to resist. And I when, once we get to the first proper mission, I think we'll I will play on Master as well. Just I find there's a lot more tension when you only have one save. Uh, this guy. I think we can dress up as this guy. This guy has a, has a meeting with the target. Although we might not be able to do that on this first version of the mission. I can't remember. Sir, I As can't suspected, let you security won't allow you on board in your current outfit. We should avoid confrontation sir, and look for another way in. Okay, we get introduced to the core system of the game, the outfit system. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. <laughs> Dramatic. Subduing when uh, press square to subdue when behind a person. Yep. Keep tapping. Put on the disguise. You put on his clothes. That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. 
Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, initiate. Stick him in the locker. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. Um, mirrors is something that they added to Hitman 2. Isn't that right? But they updated the game and added the function to the to the Hitman 1 levels as well. I always thought that was a really cool little touch. You know, if you if you're strangling someone while they're at the sink here, you need to be careful because they can see you in the mirror. So if you come up behind someone while they're looking in the mirror, it's you really need to be crouching. If they see you in the mirror, you're fucked. Well, possibly. Uh, save and load. The game auto saves. Yeah, 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 yeah. This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just act normal. Oh, yeah. Re reflections were... The mirrors were there in Hitman 1. They just didn't have any function mechanically. They, um, they couldn't see you. Uh, one thing I really wish they didn't change was how uh, guards pat you down. With how it is now in the game, if you're carrying a weapon or an illegal item, the game won't let you be frisked. So there's no risk of getting caught when you're frisked. It's just like a roadblock. And... Um, yeah, they won't even let you be frisked. You just have to go back and drop your guns and there's never any risk. Which is a bit of a shame, I think. Uh, enforcers. People marked with the threat icon will find you suspicious. Make sure they do not spot you. So, Hold on. Yeah. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. The balloon with the 60 months. Thank you. So yeah, these enforcers, they, they'll know I'm not the real deal. These guys, they're cool. Not this guy. He knows. He knows I'm not part of the team. I think you should try the original Hitman, first part of the trilogy someday. What do you mean? Like, unpatched Hitman 1? You're in. Well done, Initiate. Right, now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. The, the Hitman... What do you mean? Hitman 2016? The, the version of the game that isn't a part of the third game? <laughs> You're not talking about the OG Hitman, are you there? Because I think you said 2016. Using the first launcher. Right, right, right. That was him, wasn't it? That was definitely so hard talking about this fucking game with how it was released. So messy. Anyway, I'm going outside for a bit. Taste the fresh, salty air. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Alright. I, I don't think I want to go up here just yet. Engine room. I need re-education bad. Uh, it's probably just one of the cylinders. Uh, that would explain the grinding noise when we docked. Nah, already checked. Hey, now well, we should call the manufacturer. Trying to recommend it as a nightmare, uh, yeah. And then it kind of you need to learn how to enjoy the game as well, I think. Or at least for me, it took me a while before I could get into it. You know, you, you start off and you're playing on the normal difficulty and mission stories are popping up and you're like, oh god, I don't know about this. But... Eventually, you learn... how to set it up so you can enjoy it. 
I... Well, it looks like we can take out this guy and get his uniform. This guy's just standing here. Anyone else? We cool? I think we're cool. KC with the 53 months. Thank you. I don't think I bought any of the DLC for this yet. I'm still just kind of turned off by the, the mess of it. Uh, yeah, let's take the, let's take the, his, uh, outfit. So, yeah, this is like the core system of the game, the outfits. You have, like, low-tier outfits, which will only get you into certain parts of a facility. And then you can keep kind of upgrading as you find new tiers. And I think, like, some levels will have, like, a, a really unique outfit, like a master outfit, which basically gives you free reign over the whole place, where you can just cruise around and nobody will give a shit. Okay, let's go up. This guy's an enforcer. He, he'll know I'm not the real deal. Let's take a look in here. Wrench. Turn off the generator. This guy won't be happy if I turn off the generator, I guess. Oh shit, look at this place. Pretty cool. Okay, crack that open. Now we're back out front. Is that like a missile silo? Yeah, it kind of has that vibe about it almost. Here's our target. I think he comes upstairs with a bodyguard. The target's private deck. Now we get to this one. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. Uh, Mont with the 13 months. Thank you. Uh, here he comes with his enforcer bodyguard. Yeah, we can't let him see us. Uh, fuck. I'm scared. Where are you going? Oh, hey. Saw this painting, an original Gorka. Thing is, I could have ah! it was stolen from the Stoibus I hear the sound. Collection in Boston a couple of years back. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Hold on, I just want to grab this bust real quick. Thank you. It's going to come in handy, I think. Stop. Oh, it's just her. Yeah, it's okay. If they're not enforcers, it's okay. You can do anything. You can... Crouch, walk. Like a fool Search, right in front of them. Ah! Yeah, it's okay. As long as an enforcer isn't in your presence, you can be as silly Please as you stop. want. I can't concentrate. Excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Sir, you're gonna have to Either cut way. that out. Nice impression. 
If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. Wait, what? Nice impression. That wasn't me, Diana. Her dialogue there suggested that I was the one talking to him, right? <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken. I'm not that good, Diana. I think your name's Diana. It is possible for me to dress up as him, though, and act like him. So, I'm assuming that's the dialogue that plays if you do dress up as him and talk to him. <laughs> well, so you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene. Wait, that's, that's her bartender dialogue? Are you sure? But didn't she say it right after they had their first conversation? Sounded like that was supposed to be her dialogue for when you dress up as this guy. Technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. Fifty years ahead of its time. Maybe even more. Maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first supposed to be a bartender to listen to that conversation? Oh, right. The fact that she was uh, talking about, like, I'll let you buy me a drink or something. Okay, okay. This reactor will become... Well, I'm rooting for you. I always have paths where it always slips my mind. Just a moment, Mr. Norfolk. Uh, slipped your mind. <laughs> happens to my wife all the time. Hold on, I'm thinking. Uh, have you thought of it yet? Wait, was it glass cutter? That was your unconscious. Subduing or knocking down people will render them unconscious, but still alive. Eliminate the target to complete the mission objective. I, I hope the guy behind me didn't hear that. You have been compromised. Ah, he did, okay. Try and lose them and change your disguise. I just thought it'd be a lot funnier if I threw the statue at his face right in front of him. Hey, what Fuck you. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh, fuck. He saw. Hold up. Um. It's all right. Fake surrender? They're, they're... Okay, we killed the target. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Uh, can I dress up as this fool? Oh, shit. The Norfolk has been hit. Everyone remain calm. Oh, no! oh, I think someone's coming here. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everyone? We cool? All good. Ba -ba -ba. Hey, what's up, Nico? Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. Very I elegant. Um, let me see here. I thank everyone. Lectral with the 18, Mont with the 13, KC. How did you know? The spy who shagged the Shagahod. Talent. His stats are off the charts. Such His stats are off the charts. They could only be the result of previous training. <laughs> Power like that with no moral restraint. It could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. 
but this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Uh, spy with the tier Welcome two back, as well. Shit. Thank you, man. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. The tier two and the year as well. Cheers, spy. <clears throat> Free form training before the final test. You're, uh, you're allowed more time to practice the Ritter operation. You are free to choose your approach. And then you can use the challenges to guide you. We encourage you to complete as many challenges as possible. Uh, only used in emergency situations. Assassinate the target in a life raft accident. Uh, find the rat poison. Find the yacht crew disguise. Okay. Poison the target with rat poison. Pay the stunt. Pay that stunt man a bonus. Assassinate the target with remote explosives. Okay. Uh, oh, we have a whole list of things laid out for us here. Grenades, coins, lockpick. Here's the remote explosive. Uh, Old Red with the nine months. Thank you. MJ with the 18 as well. Cheers. Uh, why the fuck are they all enforcers? What is going on here? This doesn't seem right to me. Is this a bug? I know I'm not disguised, but I thought in even in my casual wear I was I was able to at least walk up to these guys. I'M HOLDING A MINE! <laughs> hey, there we go. I put the mine in my pocket and I'm cool. Okay, they're a little bit thrown off by people who just carry around mines. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Night Thief. Uh, I guess that uh, relates to this character we're uh, supposed to be after, or the actor uh, playing this role of this thief, this art seller, art collector. Um, okay, I'm going to see if I can get this guy away from these people with my trusty coins. Oh, nice uh, shadows there. Okay. Uh, we're going to lure this guy over here. And then I'm going to take him out here. And hopefully, no one on that ship will notice. Huh? Yes, you. Over here. Someone should go see what the hell that was. You should. Yeah, oh, alright. Nice, he's doing it. Uh, now over there. Huh. Yes. I heard that. <laughs> Does this trick work infinitely? I, ca I can't remember. Like, can you just keep moving them along by throwing coins? It's a pretty OP trick. Yeah. yeah. Ha! Nice. Uh... That might not work on master difficulty, but I don't think this training mode even has difficulty modes. It's just 
you know, just the standard thing. There we go. Perfect. Um, a new DLC did come out recently for this. Yeah, some new level. I don't really know anything about it. Um, what I really want to play is that, like, roguelite thing they were teasing a while back. I don't think that's out yet, is it? I remember thinking that sounded really intriguing when, uh, when I heard about it. Like a roguelite mode where you... Where you just have to keep adapting to the new items that you find. Freelancer mode. Is that what it's called? When is that coming out? Is there any any date for that? And yeah, I'll be very keen to see their, uh, their Bond game, which is their next main game, right? No solid release as of now. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Hopefully they... Uh, Hopefully they nail it. Just sounds like something that could be that could work really well for this type of game. But you just keep having to adapt. Uh alright. Hello, Mr. Norfolk. What's up, boys? So I guess with this guy I'm free to roam around pretty much anywhere. Good day to you, sir. Is anyone an enforcer when I'm dressed up as this guy? Can anyone see through my disguise? Means a lot coming from you, but newspaper publishing was never more than a launch pad. I plan to build cross holdings into a global media empire. You know the expression that it's better to be a big fish in a small pond than a little fish in a big ocean? Of course. Well, I say screw that. I'm just going to shrink the ocean. I believe you, Thomas. In fact, I know some people that I think you should meet. They are always looking for men of ambition. Okay. I'll bite. Come see me in London. I'll set something up. So, this guy, he's pl I, uh, is he playing the role of a target we'll have to take down later? I think the uh, the name is familiar, Cross. I think we, we take down some guy called Cross later on, Thomas Cross, or... Isn't he one of the kids in the in the band that we have to take down? Um, the Bates mother should be here as well. He's the father of the target. You kill him, Bangkok. Okay. I'm trying to find the uh, the overbearing mother, you know, the from the Norman Bates story in Sapienza. I think she's here somewhere. There's someone playing the role of that character. Uh, maybe you can only see her here on the first version of it. Caruso's mother, yeah. I don't think she's here. Maybe on the other side, or maybe on the next floor. Hey, here she is. Right, so this this has to be an actor. Right, right. He's she's not how I imagined mi uh, Mrs. Caruso. All right, let's go talk to uh, what's his face. Uh, 
Oh, he's upstairs. Mr. Ritter, I'm tearing off on Mr. Norfolk, we need it last. So good of you to fly down. Shall we? Lead the way. Let's do it. So now I guess we'll be in the same situation as before. I guess I'll blow him up with a mine to do that challenge. Hello, Mr. Norfolk. Hello there. Close it. Close it. Give me a second. It's just on the tip of my tongue. Uh, oh, I'm not really sure how this works. Can I attach it to him? Like MGS style, C4 style? Uh, fuck it. You can knock people out with the mines? Okay, I don't I didn't know that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so you can knock people out with the mines. We cool? Yeah? We all good? All right. See you later. Command, area's clear. Please advise. Over. Mr. Norfolk, how are you? Throwing all the shit at enemies is a feature since Hitman 2. Okay. Once again, great work, Initiative. Thank you. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. <laughs> All right, nice. What's my rank? Shadow ICA Assassin, 141. You've completed the freeform training module. Proceed to the final test or stay and continue your training. I think we'll go for the final test. Hey, Mr. Man, what's up? I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough, deserted, but we found no trace that your man was ever there or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm, we'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Is that where determined? the previous game took matter? place? Romania? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. Okay, let's do it. The final test. Um, I know you can play chess with this guy. Um... But I'm not really sure how far you can take it. Last time I did it, like, 
you know, he's he's on a loop. He walks out of the room, and then you can make a move on the chessboard while he's gone. But all I ever did was, like, mildly frustrate him with my chess move. I'm not really sure how far you can take it. Does anyone know? Like, can you drive him crazy by playing chess against him or anything like that? Is Agent 47 a master chess player? Hey, what's up, Wexford? Uh, yeah, like, I, I think I only ever made two chess moves, and that was about it. it did, like, I didn't really, didn't really lead to anything. And it just seemed like something that might actually lead to something more unique. I don't know. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, no, buddy. You're not coming through here. Sorry. Okay, didn't think so. <clears throat> or you can or you can solve the uh the thing that he's trying to do. Okay, we have a guy in here. We could lure him out with coins, I'm sure. Crowbar. Any holes in the fence? Sorry, but this access point is restricted. I can't let you through. Bald snake? Bald robot snake. Uh, eavesdropping. Some conversations are more important than others. Listen closely. Did you print out the safety protocol for the jet? Eh, it's not what it's for. Look, we really have to do this. All things considered. We're putting a pasty face egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. <clears throat> So yeah, here's where they introduce the mission story system. I doubt there's a way to turn it off for this mission. Seems like this is just a part of the the tutorial. Yeah. So yeah, now if you press follow, the game will just very, you know, it'll guide you through step by step how to solve this mission story, which isn't really uh, that much fun for me. So we won't be doing that. But if you turn the mission stories off, you can still get the intel and like the little clues that you need to to do it. You don't need to follow the mission story to do the mission story. You can figure it out yourself just with the with the intel you find. Like here, night safety check. It appears that all fighter jet passengers are required to do an onboard safety check before takeoff. The protocol is performed by airplane mechanics and is listed on a clipboard. Uh, oh yeah, you can turn them off. This is a tutorial level, so I don't think we can turn it off here. But when you get to the main missions, uh, you can turn you can turn it off, yeah. In 2016, the tutorial wasn't as forceful. The mission story was then called Opportunity. Then, then called Opportunity was there, but it was, but it was still in the final test. Okay. Ah, uh, no holes in the fence, huh? Sorry, sir. Really can't let you through here. Okay, I guess we'll uh, we'll lure this guy out of his hole here. Say. Yeah, I got a suspicious sound. It's probably nothing, but uh, I'm gonna take a look anyway. Do it, Ant Man with the forty-two months. Thank you, uh, Old Red with the nine. Uh, MJ with the 18, and um, Vlad, I saw you there in the chat. How's it going? Hey, is anyone there? Over there. Huh? Hey, it's me. Uh, I just heard something suspicious. 
Let's get him into the bushes over there. Just a little bit further. Whoop de doo. Over there. <gasps> Not my first time playing this, no. Thumbs. There we go. It seems like a good way to do it. Uh, Ghouli with the 13 as well. Thank you. Uh, I'll take your gun. I'll take my coins back as well. Nice. Uh, climb through the window. <laughs> and you seen Ramon? No. No. Uh, probably sleeping in a closet somewhere. <laughs> What's up? Oh yeah, we gotta watch out for enforcers. These guys are higher rank as well, I think. Am I cool to just... Ah! It's always a good idea to be crouching in situations like this. It takes longer for enforcers to see you if you're in crouch. It doesn't make sense. The, the man is like a sitting duck, staying in Cuba. It's only a matter of time before Langley catches up with them. If I was Knight, I'd be long gone. That was the plan. Then Knight pulls a fast one. Now he wants his girlfriend to go with him across the curtain. Naturally, Kremlin says no, wasn't part of the agreement. Knight says he's got documents on the other Soviet spies in the U.S. Documents that'll leak into the wrong hands in case anything happens to him or his girlfriend. Knight's final demand. Knight has made an unexpected demand for his girlfriend to accompany him to the Soviet Union and he refuses to leave Cuba until he receives affirmation from, from KGB High Command. The call will come through in the restricted radio room. Knight lore, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll take that wrench. Hey, you look like you could help me out. Uh, fucking whack! We're cool. I think we're cool. Stick him in there. Uh, I like the way he's silhouetted there. He looks very ominous. I don't think he's letting me pass. Hey, man. We're upping security at the moment, sir. So I'm right. afraid I can't let you through here. Okay, well, let's see how he feels about my coin. How do you like that? He doesn't give a shit about that. Okay. What about this? Or this? Oh, Pick it up. <laughs> um, huh. Oh, man, I got a disturbance looking into it. I thought he just wasn't going to leave his position. Okay, he's coming down the stairs. That was weird. Thought he would have heard the other ones as well. Huh. Take him out. Uh, let's drag him over to our other friend here. I think we're pretty safe here. Seems like. Ooh. Hey, what's up, Cloud? Okay, let's stick him in there. I'll take that outfit. All right, nice. Uh, this is not my first time playing Hitman, nope. 
take the hammer or anything else around here? Rat poison? <clears throat> you know that guy who flew in from Moscow? Who? Oh. He's the real McCoy. That KGB officer? Netsky? Yeah. That's what years of special KGB training in Siberia will do to you. They say he hunts tigers with a bow and arrow. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. They even say he works directly Classic. for Janice. Takes orders from nobody else. Really? I know. The guy's a real killing machine. We're lucky he's on our team. I'll drink to that, Kyle. <clears throat> okay. Sure we can dress up as him when we find him. Uh, vodka bottle. A bottle of Russian vodka. Decent brand, too. Yeah, I snuck a peek, so shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. Uh, a bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Friendly advice. All right, I hear you. Yeah, Janice is one of the main, uh... Oh, was wondering when you'd be stopping by. He's one of the main right. characters in the... In, in Hitman 1's story, I think. One of the... One of the lead figures. There on the counter. Uh... Okay, I'll take these. According to desk security, the red folder contains projector slides depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union. The soldier is coming to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs office. I think Janus is our target uh, in like the second last mission. Slides for an overhead projector containing Jasper Knight's escape plan from Cuba to the USSR. Okay. Yeah, I mean, last time I played this, I, last time I streamed this, I was just doing random shit, you know, I was just jumping around random levels. Um, I thought it might be interesting to go from the very beginning to the very Soldier. end of one of them. I never, I never played, um, this first one in its, in its entirety either. Same with Hitman 2. I think the only one I finished completely was the third one. Okay, we healed and ready to take off. Good work. Are we clear to go over the safety protocol? Yeah, go ahead. I disabled the ejector seat mechanism. Good man. Wrench. Enable ejection seat. So yeah, this is like the, the flashy way of taking this guy out. Enable the ejection seat and then get him to go flying through the roof. What do we have here? Safety protocol. According to the safety protocol, Jasper Knight is required to do a safety check before takeoff. Yes. So we fuck up the seat, get him to come down for his safety check, and kill him. The protocol, which is performed by certified airplane mechanics, includes a test of the onboard ejector seat. I really do need to go back and, and play some of the classics like Blood Money. I, I've played like the start of Contracts and the start of Blood Money, but could never really get into them. I really need to uh, try and play some of them properly one of these days. <clears throat> are a lot of the devs that were working on those older games, are they still at the company making... making... Um, these new Hitman games. Right. Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. You may need a tool to re-enable it. No, it is it is the same company, isn't it? Uh, 
Most of the people involved with the classics are long gone. Okay. That's what he said. I think he's back home. This is Cuba. We got tons of Cuba. vodka at a military airfield. I know, but at least pretend you're looking. That man is KGB. You're pretty high up the chain at that. Those guys don't take too kindly to failure. I hear you. Well, we got some vodka. Uh, so, hold on. If I try and interact with this right now, it's an illegal action. That's what the exclamation mark means. If someone sees me fucking with this, that's an alert. And this guy is staring right at me. But if I dress up as a mechanic, how will this work? This guy is an enforcer. That guy right there, he'll know that I'm not the real deal. But this guy, he doesn't know. So I think I should be cool. Yeah. Let's tamper with it. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. Uh, epiphanically epiphanic. With the three months. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, so we have that rigged whenever we want. Let's go back to our other outfit. We, I think we could just go I think we could just go straight up to him now and tell him to come down for his safety test, but fuck it, let's let's see what else we can do. Ha! Shut up. Uh, unlock the door. I think I should be cool, even though that guy's an enforcer. Let's test it. Ha! No, no. Fuck! Okay, we're not Stay good. I, sh I should have known. Well, now I know. I learned something. Oh. Hey! Did you hear me? Um, when was my last autosave? Fuck it. Go for it. Oh, all the way back here. That's okay. That's not too much progress lost, I don't think. We can quickly get back to where we were. B bring this guy down the steps. Hold up. Oh! Oh, that was him. Okay. You know that guy who flew in from Moscow? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Grab the bottle of vodka. Yeah, I snuck a peek, so shoot me. I Grab just the files. Those are military secrets. Uh, bunch of projectors lied. Travel or something. Fuck. That's what he said. Put on the outfit. Tamper with the plane. Get that set up. Right. Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. Nice. You may need a tool to re enable it. Ooh, I could oh, probably open it now without him noticing. Or maybe that guy would notice. Ah, nah, screw it. Ha! Looks like there's a much better way to get inside anyway. <laughs> I love how you can just crouch run like this casually past uh, non-enforcers. Nothing suspicious at all about this. Uh, anything here that I might want to use? Ooh, fire alarm. I can climb out the window here. Let me climb out the window. Uh, 
Cool, okay. A brick. A lead pipe. I'll take anything you want to give me, game. Here as well, Jesus. Oh, it looks like I could drop something here on top of him, the spotlight. Cool. Drop down. Ooh, and this looks like his office. Yeah, here he is. We could get a, just a slick kill on him here. Toss this guy overboard. How do I get back down? Hey, here we go. More rat poison. Oh, here's where we use the slides. Place overhead slides. Do it. An old-fashioned overhead projector used to display illuminated slide images to an audience. All the rage in 1979. Everyone was talking about it. Hey. Sir, the vodka you requested. Oh. Excellent. Put it in the meeting room. Sir, the vodka you requested. Excellent. Put it in the meeting room. Okay. Here's our target. Don't bother me. I have more than enough on my plate. All right. Brother in arms. So we could poison them with the vodka, obviously. I I don't think I'll do that. We'll go for the flashy kill. I think. We could always poison one of them. I'm not, I don't think I've ever done that before. We could poison the the uh, the other dude. Here's the chess. Move the queen. Don't bother me. I have more than enough on my... Uh, can you please get out of my face? Okay. Put the vodka down. <clears throat> Hitman can be a very slow-paced game. It probably isn't everyone's cup of tea. You spend a lot of time just taking in the level and seeing what you can do. Following AI scripts yes. and listening to conversations. Just the move I was contemplating. I appreciate the gesture, friend, but one genius is more than enough. Why on earth didn't I think of that? <sighs> Yeah, I'm not sure what this chest... I think I played the right move. And that's... And that's it, and that's just it. Maybe that's it, and that's just a little touch in the level. Now. I always figured it probably led to more than that, but... Yeah.
<clears throat> Does the intel say anything about it? Knight brought his personal chessboard with him. He appears to be engrossed in a particularly challenging game. Yeah, I can't seem to interact with it anymore, though. A fighter jet. Mid-air refuel. Good grief, is that even possible? Huh? Good grief. You people don't piss about, do you? It's not the Concord, <laughs> it but it'll do the trick. And my Sharon? Special extraction. We launch her into space, then parachute her down from the stratosphere with a lifeboat and a pair of snowshoes. Little luck, she'll reach Mermansk in a couple of months. She runs into bears. Ooh. What? <laughs> we'll put her on a plane. Jesus, Knight. You're supposed to be smart. <laughs> anyway, that is if Janice agrees to your terms. And that's a big if. He... He will see things my way. Now, give me a moment. I need to learn this plan by heart. I think you have a, a moment to electrocute him here while they're looking at that. Yeah, see, look at this. Or do something with the power here. Force one of them to come out and turn the power on. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Twice? So now they're going to come in here and have their... Have their well vodka. You. Hopefully that will shut him up. Astonishing. Opens up a whole new line of strategy. I. What's my favorite non-MGS stealth game? Probably this, from what I've played. Okay, fuck it. Let's just blast him off. I think I need the uh, the engineer outfit. Ooh, shit. You got a problem, sir? No. Around like somebody kicked your ass real bad. <laughs> uh, let's wait for him to come back. Look out, please. Did I miss their uh, their vodka toast? We have here. Hello, private. Note for KGB High Command: a list of demands from Jasper Knight, the KGB officer. Klaus Netska. Apparently, Knight wants his girlfriend to accompany him to the Soviet Union, refuses to leave Cuba until uh, until the request is granted. The request is currently pending KGB high command approval. Okay. Don't bother me. I have more than enough on my plate. I probably just answered your question there. No. This is a uh, 1970s Cold War type stuff. Legendary. I will call it. Uh, 
U.S. agent target defecting to the Soviet Union. Mr. Knight, join me for a drink. Make that two. I am about to break the sound barrier. To fallen comrades. Not socialism. <laughs> don't be daft, Knight. You people don't go around making toasts to capitalism, do you? <laughs> <laughs> MGS reference? Close enough. Knight, in the office. Escape slides are here. MGS reference? There, There's a pretty, like, a really big overt reference to... MGS-1 story in Sapienza and the second mission. With the, uh, the Fox Die virus and the uh, Naomi Hunter-esque scientist. Okay, alright, let's, let's blast this guy off. Please, yes. sir, behave in an orderly as fashion. As soon as he comes back. Yeah, we're still on the tutorial missions. We have the first proper mission coming up once we finish this. This is still a pretty proper mission, though. Carry on. You know, it kind of feels like a main mission. Kind of a bite-sized main mission. Uh, Bluey with the 21 months. Thank you. Alright, let's dress up as the mechanic. Back upstairs. And we should be able to get him to come down for his safety test. If we can talk to him. Jasper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. I did read the joke, you are Bluey. Invading my personal space, sir. It just wasn't good enough to be read out loud, you know? I only read out the good jokes. So try harder next month. Sorry, Bluey. Sure you tried your best. Mr. Mechanic, what's up? I think you lost him. Better double back and fetch him again. Oh! Come on, man! Do you not know your way down to... Where, where else do you think I'm taking you? Mr. Knight, we did some readjustments to the jet. And we'll need to do another safety check. Is this strictly necessary? Well, very well. There's only one fucking jet here, man. Um, Muff with the 21 months. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry. I read all the messages. I just don't read all of them out loud. Okay. Uh, do I need to look at my clipboard again? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Um, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time.
Step one, strap yourself in. Uh, okay. All strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Yes, you found it. Uh, hold on. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I never actually walked away from him in the middle of this. What happens now? <laughs> oh, he fucking gets out. No. Ah, shit. Uh, hold on, can I talk to him again? Vagaries, monkey. Um, so That's tonight. We did some readjustments to the jet, and we'll need to do another safety check. Is this strictly necessary? Well, very well. Oh, he will do it again, so okay. doing this or what? Hello, you, Grease Monkey. What's the holdup? Unbelievable. What? Hi. Mr. Knight, we did some readjustments to the jet, and we'll need to do another safety check. Is this strictly necessary? Oh, well, very well. Okay, now get stand in your spot. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Uh... Kind of curious to see if I can knock him out with something while he's in there. I guess we could like shoot him while he's. Let's let's just do it the classic way. Step one: strap yourself in. Uh, okay, all strapped in. Step two: locate the ejector seat handle. Yes, found it. Step three. Pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. Here it goes. Pull. <laughs> Target down. You did it. Now head towards an That exit. scream was pretty good. It was all part of the plan. Yet yeah, what happened to that actor? Did he just pull his parachute out? I'm not sure about this ICA organization. I'm not sure how they're treating their actors here. Bum 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 bum. Okay. Silent assassin rank. That's what that symbol means, by the way. Beside the radar on the bottom left, those two guns uh, with the green color. That's kind of like your equivalent of a big boss rank in this. If it's green, it means you're playing perfectly stealthily, according to the game's rules. If it turns red, it means you fucked up. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. Yeah, silent assassin suit only. I think that's like the the tryhard big boss rank style of play for these games. Where you're only allowed to wear the classic suit for the whole mission. No costume changes at all. Wearing the suit as well, does that force you to do like other things. I think it forces you to play with certain tools as well, maybe. 
I can't remember. What else the suit imposes on you if it does. Okay, tutorial is, is over. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. Wait, who, who are you talking about? Me. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name, nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. The supervisor, right? right I thought so. Agent 47. Montage. Yeah, this flashes back to the previous games, right? Your previous targets. Was that dude in any of the previous games? Lucas Gray? I think that's his name. Okay, let's go back to the menu and get into our first mission. Now, just the way he was talking, I thought maybe he was someone we should be familiar with. Uh, story, Hitman, the showstopper. I will this cinematic play if I just go into the mission? I don't think it will, will it? I can't remember. Oh wait, no, this is the cinematic after the mission. Anyway, yeah, no 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 no. I for some I thought I was looking at a brief some kind of briefing screen, but no, I'm not. Um, let's do it. Here we go. Uh, I've played this mission a lot. We'll go for master difficulty, uh, which means we only have one save per mission, one manual save, no auto saving, um, no mission story guides, uh, more surveillance cameras in the level. More enforcers to see through my disguises. Um, ruthless and demanding combat. So yeah, you go down fast if you get caught. 
Um, bloody eliminations ruin disguises. Yeah, that's another cool little touch. Um, if I shoot someone, I can't wear their disguise. Um, or if I stab them, you know, I need to knock them out, break their neck. Uh, NPCs are more attentive to sounds, so it increases their hearing range as well. That's cool. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> uh, what do I want to bring in with me? Signature suits. Themed. I think we'll just go with the signature suit. Coins. The pale duck is like a, some kind of explosive. You throw it when... I think as soon as you hit an enemy with it, it explodes. Or is it like a C4? I can't remember. A medium explosive device disguised as a pale duck. Brand rubber duck. Detonated remotely. Yeah, yeah, okay. Proximity explosive. Napoleon blown apart. Plays relevant orchestral music when placed. Can be detonated at any time. Um, there's. I thought there was one that like exploded as soon as you hit the enemy with it. Isn't that what Napoleon does if you, like, crack someone with Napoleon? Yeah, that's what the golf balls do. But I thought one of these ducks or Napoleons also kind of functioned like that as well. Maybe, maybe it is just the golf ball, though. Uh, let's, let's go with the pale duck. No, fuck it, let's bring Napoleon in. I'm probably not going to use it anyway. Uh, we can also smuggle in an item. We can choose to have a certain item in a certain place waiting for us if we want. Nah, I'm cool. Let's just go with what we have. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. Was there a briefing this to play? This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity. Slick. But I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. This isn't the briefing. Let's go back and watch the briefing. Really slick intro to this mission. Uh, replan. Uh, ah, yes, of course. Here it is. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dalia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, <laughs> and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. 
The Sanguine Show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Sweet. What's the pirate's name in Aladdin? Victor? Or... It's Iago, isn't it? <laughs> Iago is the name of the, the group that they run, not his name. <laughs> Whoever said that. Uh... I'm assuming it's referencing Shakespeare and not Aladdin. Iago from Othello. He's like the conniving manipulator who controls things behind the scenes. I'd imagine that's why they're named Iago, because they're this, um, you know, secretive cabal controlling uh, global events behind the scenes. Um, let's... Let's do it. Let's do it properly this time. Or maybe it's maybe it has something to do with the Aladdin parrot. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red uh, Lexi the with the 35 months. Is Thank you. Who's who of the global fashion elite? You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your <clears throat> timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. All right. So slick. The night show should prove no exception. Sato, who has been hailed as one of the boldest young designers of his generation, surprised the fashion world earlier this year when he accepted the position as head designer for Sanguine, a house usually associated more with... Cut! Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. Mind staying out of my shot? believe that guy. I hate these Classic. Let's just take it from the top. Right, right. I'm standing outside Play de Valeska, hosting the Sanguine Fault. What the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Come on, come on. Don't encourage this asshole. Lindsay, let's just, let's just go for a break. Probably coked out of his mind. <clears throat> Probably coked out of his mind. These fashion snobs. What's going on over here? You can buy. It's bullshit, basically. No offense, but it sounds like you might not be in the right line of work, miss. Oh, everyone wants to work in fashion. It's, it's just something you do. Even if I'm only an assistant, there's a million kids out there who would eat their own grandmothers for a shot of my position. And do it for free. <laughs> Yet you're way out here talking to me. A guy who wears white tees and cargo pants when he's off duty. I, my brother, father, and uncle are cops. I've always felt comfortable around guys in, in uniform. Oh, shit, that's my phone. Miriam probably wants a Cosmo or someone to yell at. Usually both. <laughs> yeah, my boss is like that. Funny how all jobs are basically the same, you know? Hey, I got this friend who's a stuntman. Greatest job in the world, right? Or so you think. Only he says, once you've fallen down a flight of stairs, you've fallen down them all. That really got me thinking. Yeah. So, um, I better get back in. <laughs> it was really nice talking to you. I'll, well, I mean, you know my name, so, uh... Yeah, y yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey, miss, don't let her get to you, okay? All right, let's go inside. The amount of unique conversations 
and interactions in this mission is really insane. Um, I remember I was watching an interview with one of the developers um, who's like the, the lead AI scripting developer and she was saying that this is, is the most complex level they've made out of all three games in terms of like unique uh, conversations and just the amount of character interactions. Uh, which really isn't a surprise if you spend a lot of time in this level. It's really crazy. Just the amount of stuff that they cram into it. I think she said it was like, uh, it was kind of like a test for them. You know, as their first big level, they wanted to see just how much they could cram into one level. It's, uh, it's pretty nuts. They really do a great job of making this level feel alive. It's very detailed. Welcome, sir. Enjoy the show. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Someone we would like you to meet. There's the spotlight. Uh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman. Urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Mm -hmm. Goddamn artists. Now. Yeah, like even the, uh, you know, the woman who was doing that news report out front. When they stop doing that and they go over to have their their little smoke break, there are like four, there are like five or six variations on the conversation that they have there. Um, it's crazy. The length of the news broadcast changes as well randomly. Hey man, don't mind me. Hey man, want to go check that out? Double thumbs up, man. We cool? There we go. Okay, okay, sorry, I'm just listening. Ma'am, I wish I had that job. Can I ask you a question? Uh, Would it be the right fine. name? I know I look fine, fine, but he's like a like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. <laughs> Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush earlier when you put on his makeup. Oh, what can I say? I'm human. Oh, wow, speaking of, that guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. Huh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, uncanny. You know where he hangs out? I need to find this Helmut Kruger. And another stylist. Stylish Let's go take a look at the uh, show here. And they really nail the whole aesthetic. Let's 
go out back. about what she was doing there she was oddly vague about it anyway why don't you just give Margolis a call could be worth a shot yeah I guess well, why not thanks Sam so Margolis is recruiting the models into her spiring getting them to go out and seduce people for her clients and shit like that Just about anything. Intestines, straight jackets, you name it. Aw. Look, I gotta run, but I'll see you later, okay? Nice one, man. Miss missed the end of that. Hmm? Hey, look who it is. It's me. Hey, another MGS reference. I think he'll only move away when I approach him. Salute, very ethereal. And he just casually walks away. <laughs> I don't think he ever tells her, you know, I'm going to take a break now. He always just walks away. Uh, she'll know I'm not the real deal if she sees me. Let's be careful here. Uh, we cool? Put that camera away. Love the shirt, buddy. Thanks, man. Uh, 
Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. <sighs> The lighting is really nice in this level. Love this evening vibe outside. Um, I think it's based on a real building. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, hey, are you watching why are you sneaking around? What have you been doing? No, not anytime soon. Actually, I'm... Doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. I think I'm gonna save here. Don't ask. <laughs> of course you'll get your ten percent, Dan. Look, hey, maybe you could cut my hair later. Both know that I'm past my prime. There's no way but down, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I like really you. like Helmut. But this way, if I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. A lot of startup cash, actually. And I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm, I'm thinking facial products. Uh, maybe underwear? Anyway, I gotta go, Dan. I'll see you in Cali, okay? All right. Yeah, ciao. Am I really doing this? I don't know. Maybe it's not so different from... <sighs> Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Money makes all the difference. <sighs> Dahlia Margolis. Why do I feel like I'm playing with fire here? <sighs> don't think like that. Helmut, don't think like that. <laughs> think of the money. It's only temporary. You won't look like this forever. You've got to strike while the iron is hot. While you are hot. Um, I'm probably gonna get caught here. Fucking grab him! This will be my last show. And it feels like only yesterday. Ah! Be cool! Hey man, we cool? Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's nice. so different from... <sighs> Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey man, how's it going? Yep! No. Quick now before this other guy turns. Hey, okay. I uh, someone dropped a gun here, man. I think you could uh, take care of this? What's going on here? Okay. Um, I want Helmut's disguise. I want to pose as him. Let's take him out, drag him down real quick while he's taking care of the gun. Oh! oh shit! Okay, right. We're gonna reload and we're gonna do the same thing again. This is my one save. Remember, we're on master difficulty, I only get one save. It's a pretty tricky situation here with all these guys. If you want to get Helmut's disguise, of course you'll get your ten percent, Dan. Look, we both know that I'm past my prime. No uh, this might this might have been a bad moment because this other guy is gonna come up. But this ah! way, I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. Yeah, yeah. Actually. We have to be careful. Fuck! I wish I didn't fuck it at the last moment there. We did the hard part last time. Of course you'll get your 10%, Dan. Look, we 
both know that. Let's just try and be a little bit faster this time. No way but down Maybe now I can do it if I'm fast enough. Been an ascetic either. But this way, if I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. Whoo, nice. Cash, actually. And I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm, I'm thinking facial products. Uh, maybe underwear? Anyway, I gotta go, Dan. I'll see you in Cali, okay? All right. Yeah, ciao. Well, maybe it's better this way. You don't want to end up like... I'll try and do this with Silent Assassin if I can. We got caught by one of the cameras. That's why it's flashing yellow at the bottom left. But if we destroy the equipment, we can get back to Silent Assassin. Hey, man. Just stopping you in your tracks here just to slow down your pattern. A except no, now if I grab this other guy, he's going to hear it. Fuck. Am I really doing this? Uh, it's not so different from fucking quick. Oh, still too loud. Okay. Again, I just need to learn the hearing ranges. I thought he was- I thought he'd be just out of hearing range there. Okay, this time we got it. Of course you'll get your 10%, Dan. Look, we both know that I'm past my prime. There's no way but down. Not like it. Mm, I might be too slow this time. Go, 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 go. But this way... I can leave the game with some startup cash. Uh, a lot of I have to be very precise if I want to get him here. Uh, Helmut will move after a while, yeah. Okay, nice. Actually, and I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm, I'm thinking facial products. Uh, maybe underwear? Anyway, I gotta go, Dan. I'll see you in Cali, okay? Alright, yeah, ciao. Well, maybe it's better this way. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna walk up. I think we're in a pretty good spot yeah, to just take there, this guy out. Stylist. Oh, fuck, you stopped there? Oh, what an asshole. Okay, and he's the guy who goes all the way up. Fucking grab him! Now, quick! Dump him quick! Okay, we're cool. Well, maybe it's better this way. You don't want to end up like Enrique Santana. Okay, now you're going to notice the gun. Crow's feet on the podium. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Helmut just chilling. Now, this other guy that caught me last time, where the fuck is he? Where is he? Okay, right, I think I'm good. Fucking grab it. Think. Fucking, let's go, let's go! Oh, shit! Here he is. Okay, uh, fuck it. Let's just leave Helmut here. Right? I think this is a decent spot here behind the, beside the fence. Uh, all right, let's grab his phone. So, this guy's having an existential crisis about his career. He's on the downward slope. He's getting on. Prime is past. 
but Dahlia is about to make an offer, luring him into her secret spiring. Let's do it. Let's walk the runway. Gorgeous lighting and colors here outside. Really nice. Glassy with the 10 months. Thank you. Um, there's a cool thing you can do with Victor. Um, this guy's the lead stylist, you know, he kind of runs the show, but he's having a quarrel with Victor who owns the company. And after, when, when the fashion show is finished, usually both of them go out to make a speech together, I think, or maybe he just goes out by himself. I think he goes out normally. Um, and it, which is something that he's against because he thinks this whole thing is like, a. A farce he doesn't really want to be a part of it i think but if you piss this guy off enough he will leave the area and that will force victor to go out at the end of the show which isolates him on the stage and then you can kill him you can like drop the the chandelier on top of him you can drop the whole lighting rig on top of him while he's out there by himself and that's one way to take care of him but uh to piss this guy off and to get him to leave, we can turn on the diorama here. And every time you fuck with the diorama, it forces him to go out and take a smoke break. But if you do it enough, he will just leave forever and he won't come back. He'll abandon the whole fashion show. <laughs> I think you have to do it three times for him to abandon the fashion show completely. And he just goes out and he has an existential crisis outside and smokes cigarettes. And uh, I don't think you need to do it three times in order for Victor to go out and take the stage after the show. But that's the easiest way of doing it, I think. Otherwise, you have to time it so... The when the fashion show ends, you put in a coin in the diorama to force him to go outside. Then Victor will come in and look for him. He's not here, so he goes out to make the, the final speech. <laughs> okay, let's go get our makeup. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Mr. Kruger, need a touch-up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. Won't take a second. Appreciate it. <clears throat> oh yeah, this visual bug is still here. That's a shame, you get the, the flickering lights on the table. Maybe it's fixed on other versions of the game. I'm playing on PS5. All set, Mr. Kruger. Good work. Wow, thanks, Mr. Kruger. Break a leg. I know, that doesn't look like natural lights, the way that was flickering. That wasn't as bad as it can be, though. Sometimes, see, look there. Sometimes it can be a lot worse.
right, let's go up and see uh, Dahlia. There's uh, loads of other shit you can do here. I think we missed our opportunity. I'm, I'm not sure how much you can do in one playthrough. I think you probably have to do a, couple, a few different playthroughs in order to see all the unique events in the level. Like Victor does laps around the place and he talks to a woman from a rival fashion company and shit like that. There's a whole thing with a photographer as well that you can do. Looking awesome, Mr. Kruger. Thank you. Yeah, the Kruger outfit pretty much allows you to go anywhere on the map. I Mr. Think. Kruger, I'm sorry to inform you that you currently do not have access to these premises. Well, apart I'm from this... I'm asking you to turn back and continue out Jesus, it. okay, man. I think this is the only room I'm not allowed into. Because there's, like, uh... Some VIP who's staying in this room. But I think that is the only room I'm not allowed into. That's the, yeah, that's the Sheik area. You can dress up as him as well and take part in the, uh, in Dahlia's auction. Uh, let me take a look at the map. Mm, okay, we want to go to the end of this hall. Oh, the, the Sheik is the ultimate outfit in this, is it? He, he can go anywhere. How's it going, boys? What's her story? Actually, I read this, uh, this book about the fashion history through the ages. There was this whole chapter on her. I don't know, I mean, as, as I recall, Margolis' dad was some overzealous Israeli army general who... Yeah, he did not approve of his daughter's chasing a fickle dream. She was disowned and had to fend for herself. I guess that explains her demeanor. Hey, fashion is tough, okay? I mean, I mean, army tough. Her father, he should have really been more approving. Anyway, she went all the way to the top, and then just as her career was slowing down, she met Viktor Novikov, nouveau riche Russian with a bad boy reputation, looking to turn over a new leaf. So. Dahlia persuaded him into buying Sanguine, and she launched her own modeling agency. With his money, of course. Yeah, say what you will, but the girl is charmed. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. You read a book on fashion? You? A, I didn't know you could read. B, I gotta be honest with you, you're so late adapter, you're almost a first mover. I, I didn't catch any of that, but uh, yeah, my wife, she, she bought it for me. Your wife bought you a book on fashion. I'm gonna call bullshit on it. It was called Runway, okay? She thought it was about airplanes and stuff. You know, manly things. Uh-huh. Your wife bought you a book about manly things. You. Because <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I've seen you before with a man purse. A merce. Seriously. Okay, shut up. A merce. Glad. Thank you for the tier three, man. The big, the big tier three again in the 66 months. Cheers, man. Come out, my man. You don't remember me? It's Phil. Phil with the pills? <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one before. Phil with the pills? Helmut likes to have a good time every now and then. Sounds like. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, hey, here's Dolly. Helmut. Lovely outfit. Please, have a seat. Thank you. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica and... do what you do best. 
The girl is bright, young, beautiful, and should be right up your alley. And yet she's not now, the one. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's Thank for you. you. Keep it on you at you all are times. Too, really hmm. too kind. Cyanide. Good choice. I have been told that these are my most accessible designs yet. <sighs> We've got but trouble. But don't let the bright colors and the classical cuts fool you. No, 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 no. Just poison her right here and now. I like to get acquainted first. My darkest yet. I have explored feelings of powerlessness, duress, coercion, the notion that yes. free will is only <laughs> well. It's a little late now, isn't it? That we are all controlled by sinister no, forces. No, no, I'm going to deal with this. Preying on our vices a big and weaknesses. She knew what she was getting into. Put a detail on her, and if she shows like signs of pleasant cracking, design out. suggest we put on a brave face. We'll talk later. A mask of normality. To make us appear happy. Successful. And above all... Sorry about that, Helmut. So, a toast. To a fruitful collaboration. Here, here. Looks good. Thank you. Well done, <laughs> Victor Novikov is next. I love how they don't try to hide the fact that the drinks are poisoned at all. It's the opposite. Like this dramatic red smoke coming out of the glass. Okay, let's dump her in the closet. And now we just have Victor. So uh, Sato went out on the stage and gave his speech, speech reluctantly. And now that the show is over, I'm not sure what Victor does next. What's going on in here? Uh, ooh, picking up the kitchen knife is an illegal action. Anything going on in here? Looking pretty empty. Uh, there is a fireworks show as well. I forget, do you have to initiate the fireworks? I think you do. That will force them, that, that'll force Victor and Dahlia to come outside and take in the fireworks. I'm not sure what happens if, if you've already killed Dahlia. Will Victor still go outside? He probably does still go outside. Yeah, because they don't go out together, I don't think. Victor, Dahlia comes out on the top floor and Victor comes out on the bottom floor. Helmet, my man. Um, if I knew where Victor stood, I could plant the uh, Napoleon for him. Maybe. Oh god. Okay, cool. What's up guys? I wonder, is that the gun that I, uh, that I left on the ground? I think the fireworks are around here somewhere. Yeah, fireworks schedule. According to the schedule, Novikov plans a grand fireworks display at the end of the Sanguine Show. The fireworks are located on a barge in the Seine. The detonation remote, however, is unaccounted for. Oh yeah, look, you can see them there. That's cool. Okay. Uh, 
detonate? Can anyone remember where the detonator is? I don't mind being told. I've played this a hundred times. I thought the uh, I thought the detonator was around here somewhere. It's on the second floor. It's inside. Oh, okay, I guess I was just remembering that note. Very close by. Oh, the tech guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. That makes sense. I should have thought. Mr. Kruger? Huh. Wow. Yeah, here it is. Never knew this stuff was so complicated. Just pick it up here. Yeah, that's a fireworks remote. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Look, Nabokov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display. Now so we can watch it from the garden. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make much sense that Helmut is allowed to grab it. Or, I don't know, maybe he just has that kind of power. Get rid of the security camera footage. Oh, that's all the way upstairs, isn't it? In the attic. The big boy security is like way up in the attic. Fuck. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Pretty fancy. Oh, is security in the basement? I thought it was... Is it not up in the attic as well? No? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I know there's a, there's a fancy costume up in the attic as well. Yeah, we could maybe try and get the magician outfit while we're up in the attic. Good evening, sir. Please come right through. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. You rock, Helmut. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Mr. Jordan, do I have I'm probably gonna fuck this up. I can't remember if there's like a natural way of getting up to the attic. I always do it by like climbing up on top of the lights. Hello, Mr. Kruger. Can I take part in the auction as Kruger? I don't think I can. Oh, blend in is 47? Some of the stuff they're selling here is pretty funny. Bidding has begun. Yes. Five murders for sale in the Cayman Islands this month. Pharmaceutical industry of Russia. 
Would you like to buy this suspicious suicide? I can hear it perfectly. Are you using shitty speakers? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Last bid and sold. Next up, a brewing conflict in the defense industry of Western Europe. All right, we'll leave it. Please place your bids. Help. Uh, Mr. Kruger, let me know if you need new bodyguards. Okay? Call me. Uh, maybe my maybe my game volume is is too low on stream. I mean, like he's speaking fairly quietly, but with headphones, I can hear it quite clearly. Sound mixing is a bit off. I don't know. For me, it's fine. You know, I can hear him perfectly. Maybe it's just the 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 the, the game levels on stream. But yeah, maybe if you're just watching with laptop speakers or something, it might be hard. <clears throat> Game volume always too low on Twitch. I I disagree. I feel like sometimes the game volume can often be too loud. I usually have streams turned down whenever I'm watching whenever I'm watching streams. Um But yeah, if the game volume is a bit too low overall, I can turn it up a bit. Here, I'll turn it up a bit. Okay, let me know if I'm getting drowned out. I do like to be a bit louder than the game. Yeah, the in-game voices, I think they are just generally um, a bit low. But yeah, I don't know, I could hear him fine with headphones. Okay, I'm going to try not to fuck this up. And I fuck it up immediately. Yeah, okay. Um, right, let's abandon this whole fucking plan. Oh, God. Combat. <laughs> Hold on. Target's gone. Command. Perimeter has been compromised. Be advised. The perimeter has been compromised. Security, you are not safe here. Clear out. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's just finish this mission any way we can. I'm on master difficulty, so we have to we lose a lot of progress. Oh fuck! <laughs> Shit! Go! Uh am I safe in here? Pick up the scissors. Go, command. We've got reports of a real troublemaker out there. Where's Victor going? What's he doing? know exactly what he looked like and what he was wearing. Nope. Hey, right, close the door. Pick up the gun. Let's dance. Command, still nothing. Stand. 
Uh... Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Uh throw a hammer at him. There we go. Uh dress up as him. Okay, now that we're in a different outfit, I think we're we're in a better situation. And it looks clear. Over. Is that Fuck! Hold on. Ah, uh, let's strangle this guy real quick. Come in. Come in. I got a victim on the ground not wearing any clothes. No, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. <laughs> Some Jew is ass. There we go. PDK with the 46 months. Thank you. In the 28th streak. Um. Okay, we cool? Fuck it, I may as well stay up here and try and get the costume now while I'm here. Command, we got a casualty. Proceeding with caution. good uh, where is this other outfit crazy how dense the levels are here it is I think vampire magician <laughs> Okay. Ooh, slick. I like the glasses. I, I think this is a pretty good disguise as well, isn't it? Isn't this like a master outfit? No, is it? Is it a really bad disguise? Uh, I guess that'll be an illegal item as well. Oh, yeah, everyone's... Well, no, not everyone is an enforcer when I'm wearing this. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm going to try and finish the mission wearing this any way we can. It's over now. Unfortunately, he got away. Oh, this guy dragging the body bags. That's a really cool uh, feature. They'll take dead bodies and bring them to a room. Where are you going with that? Shit! No! Oh. Mister? Hey, Mister! Oh. Fuck you! Oh, fuck. We're all good. Just get out of here, all right? Oh shit! Okay. Uh, no, these guys aren't friendly either. Um. Hey, man. Go grab, go get that coin. Oh, shit. Uh. Fuck you! Subdue his ass! Oh shit! I didn't know there was a third guy. Um, throw this bust at him. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not allowed to equip anything. 
Okay, we're we're blowing shit up. Uh Give me this. Ah! Uh, I'm about to die in a few shots. There's two guards there. Two right below me. It's over. <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't let, they wouldn't let me open the menu after I threw the Napoleon thing. There's a guy in the room behind me. There's one guy over there to the left. Oh shit. Uh Fucking punch him and go. Ah! I had to reload. I had to reload. No. We have to go way back. Okay, let's do it differently this time. It's okay, we lost a load of progress, but it's fine. We can just take a different approach. That was a fun uh, situation, at least. Um, let's just lure them both out with fireworks. There's no way but down there. Ah, uh, shame I couldn't make it out alive. Alright, yeah, let's go up. I guess I'll dress up as the... the guard that we took out. Oh, I didn't even take him out. I'll see you in Cali, okay? Alright, yeah, ciao. Unbelievable. Probably gonna get caught here. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> of course, you'll get your ten percent. Okay, I think maybe I'll just poison Victor. He does laps. He goes up to the bar, asks for a drink. You can push Diana on top of Victor as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's during the fireworks, right? Hmm, maybe we'll do that. Can you dress up as Sato as well? Odin with the 60 months and the 60 streak. Cheers, man. You want a coin, don't you? Can't remember if you can dress up as him. Nah, you can't.
Okay, that'll force Victor to go out at the end and give me speech. Cool, the separate music they have playing out here in the bar. <clears throat> no, fuck off. Another section down here. to me down here. Poor girl. Uh, fire axe. Well, I wouldn't mind a crowbar. Aren't there usually custodial costumes? Yeah, I think if you play on professional difficulty, there's more stuff down here. You can probably dress up as um, a waiter. Ooh, shit. Holds a wine. Cocktail recipe. The recipe for a bare knuckle boxer. According to margin notes, this is Viktor Novikov's favorite cocktail. Cleaver. Kitchen knife. Frying pan. Oh, the frying pan is the legal item. I'm allowed to pick that up. Content, sir. Uh, I'm frustrated. I don't know what I want to do. It's kind of hoping for a crowbar. Okay, a makeup artist. <laughs> Dude, there is no way I'm letting you through. Okay. Sorry. Mm. 
And this guy, he's waiting to be picked off here. Hey, man. Like, sorry, man, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now, okay? Hey, man, you want to go and sort out that leakage? Ooh, there's Victor and his bodyguard. I think I remember there being something unique about his bodyguard as well. If you take him out. Yeah! A new, new discovery in MGS1. Um, I don't think so. Oh, just new uh, speedrun glitch, speedrun tech. If you're out of stinger missiles for the part when Snake refuses to fire at Fox, he says something different like, no, I'm out of missiles. Oh, wow. No, I haven't seen that before. I wonder if that is a new discovery, though. Surely someone must have... Uh, encountered that before, right? But yeah, I don't think I've seen that. That's cool, though. I never really thought to think, you know, what happens if you even, if you don't have any stingers for that section. That's cool that they account for that. But, um... Yeah, you'd think someone must have seen it. Very cool, though. I didn't know about that. Bad Humans was posting something that I had forgotten about as well. Something that I had seen before, but something that I forgot about. Where when Meryl crosses the mines before she gets shot by Wolf, if you leave the area and come back, the footprints will be gone, and instead she'll guide you by... Uh, she'll guide you with her voice. I forgot about that completely. <clears throat> The footprints don't stay there forever. Um, okay, what am I doing? Does the stinger thing happen in Twin Snakes? I don't know. Stop that freak scene. Oh, I really want to smack you. I'm not going. Uh, I haven't found any poison. Man, it's hard to find the unique items here on this difficulty. Nothing lying around. Hi, waiter. Yeah, I think there probably is poison up in the attic. That means I have to go up, though. Is a waiter allowed up these stairs? I uh, know. 
Oh, fuck, and that's me caught. <laughs> Crouching around with this frying pan. Bum, 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 bum. Get back to waiting tables, boy. You mind? Just give us five minutes, okay? There's lots of rat poison at the kitchen shelf, even on master difficulty. I don't think there is on master difficulty. Excuse us. Yeah, just careless play. Fucking Bluey, why am I coming back in just for you? Even though I know you're wrong. God damn it! Hey, you! Um. You're getting me really angry now. No, no! I can't knock people out like that. Close those doors. Dress up as this guy while nobody's looking. They'll never suspect a thing. Hey, someone lose a frying pan around here? What's going on? What's all this chaos? Let me see. What's the schedule here? The stage schedule confirms that Viktor Novikov will take Sebastian Sato's place. Oh, I see. Okay. wonder if that has to do with what's going on here. Something is going down. Uh, is Victor downstairs? Yeah, they bring Victor to some kind of panic room or something if shit goes down like this. It's security tight. Security tight. Oh, hey, Scar Alien. I'm glad you're enjoying the Shenmue. That was a fun playthrough. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. I got you. Uh, You sure this is Hitman 3? It is. Yeah, if you look hard enough, you'll see that it is actually Hitman 3. It's Hitman oh, 1 and 3. Technically. But to the untrained eye, you may think it is just Hitman 1. Um... Hey man, didn't you just fucking compromise my ass? Are you okay? Ah, I'm hit! Okay. But uh, yeah, this is Hitman 1, but it is um, inside Hitman 3. It's a part of the Hitman 3 package with the Hitman 3 updates. Rather than, rather than the original version of the game. Uh, oh, he's going to take him away in the body bag. situation like this. I mean, did someone call the cops or something? <laughs> uh, hey. 
Oh shit. I don't know why I walked up to him. I'm just... Okay. I... Can you even see me? We cool? Yeah, no, we're cool. Take that body away, will you, man? Yeah, I'll get these bodies packed up and stowed away. Okay. You can get objects like that to land on the body bags. That is possible to do. I don't think I know you. You better. Ah. He's over there. Watch him out. I'll cover you. In the basement. Okay. I should have kept trying to play properly there. I don't know what I was doing. It was just hard, it's hard to resist fucking around. Okay, this time we'll try and do something properly. Ask. <laughs> of course you'll get your 10%, Dan. Look, we both know that Past my prime. No way but down, Dan. And it's not like I've been an ascetic here. But now? But this way, if I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. Well, a lot of startup cash, actually. And I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm, I'm <clears> thinking <throat> facial products. Uh, maybe underwear? Anyway, I gotta go, Dan. I'll see you in Cali, okay? Alright, yeah, ciao. Unbelievable. This could be my last show. Uh, he's gonna see this guy, surely, when he eventually leaves. Well, maybe it's better this way. You don't want to end up like Enrique Santiago. Crow's feet on the podium. <laughs> no, thank you. <sighs> Dahlia Margolis. Why do I feel like I'm playing with fire here? Oh! I didn't realize don't these guys like were enforcers. No, don't think like we got away with that somehow. Think. Fuck it. Dahlia, helmet here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire Street, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. What if I do go up without Mr. Kruger? walking the runway? Is she just bluffing? Helmet Kruger. Wow, you're handsome. Like a girl you need Please come right through. If you need anything, please come. Hold on, hold on. Go for the fireworks double kill thing. Huh. Wow. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it. Margolis was a supermodel and 
and she owns a mall. Okay, let's see. I think if you detonate the fireworks before the show is over, it, I, I'm not sure if they'll go out. Let's see what happens. Huh, okay, it does work. Cigarette, taking it in. Get it together down there, Victor. You don't want to throw one of your tantrums in front of the audience. Nice. Oh, she was carrying the uh, the poison pills, the the pills that she gives to you for your job. Here's her bodyguard. Um. What the fuck are you guys looking at? How can you see the how can you see the fireworks by staring up at the ceiling? Um Will I try and go up to the attic, get rid of the evidence? I'm probably gonna fuck it up again if I try and do that. someone saw right fuck it we're just getting out of here dress up as this guy go I, I should have paid attention to the radar should have seen that there was another guy across the road We don't cool. worry, the pros are here. Watch yeah, okay. and learn. We have a man that needs to be set straight. He's making a real mess out there. Sean possible suspect. Take safeties off. Man, how do you read? Okay, we're cool. <laughs> I love how you can crouch run in front of non-enforcers. It's so good. Uh, this guy is suspicious. I got a psycho on premises. We might have a potential threat here. Fuck! We have reason to believe that the suspect. Well, it's a little late to back out now. What the fuck? Oh! Oh no! And you die quick on this difficulty. Fuck. I shouldn't have went for the security footage. Why did I do that? Not like a minute of setting here. 
Back to hell, Moose. business on my own. Let's just go with this outfit. What's up, boys? I just want to get this over with now. Can I just swoop in behind these two? I think I can. Ha! Oh shit, I can't. I should have just thrown the coin. Why am I risking this shit on this fucking difficulty? Go, 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 go. Uh, I know where. I'm. I'm I, I. I forget how the alert phases work. I think. Go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Push her over the edge. Hello, sir. Go on, do your thing, Dahlia. Let's go, let's go. I think we can actually slide down to the very bottom from here. Yeah, look at this. There he is. Oh, this is too good. Yeah, too good to be true. Down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. Hey, what's up, Martian? I can't resist. Okay, we had a few hiccups there, but that was pretty fun. <laughs> All right, nice. Up next, Sapienza. Moscow. Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. 
Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Yeah, I think they lost a lot of their budget for the second game, didn't they? After they went uh, independent. Square published Hitman 1, right? And then they didn't, they dropped out after that and then they became self-published from 2 onwards. Oh, they didn't go independent until three, really. But yeah, either way, I think they had uh, they had less to work with for the for the second game. <clears throat> All right, let's do Sapienza, shall we? Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. They really just cut the cutscenes here? Makes it look really cheap. Cut the cutscenes? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm confused. Um Okay. I think we'll just go in with the basic shit. You know, I don't really know what I want to do. I don't really have any plans. Yeah, let's just go in. I'll bring in the classic lockpick. That sounds good. We'll go for the standard starting location. Let's do it. We were wearing the classic suit last time. 
Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get close to the virus. Good luck, 47. Yeah, another fan favorite, this one. I think Paris might be my favorite um, map. Just because I've spent so much time with it. And it's just really impressive how much detail they cram into it. But I do like Sapienza as well. Gorgeous uh, visually as well. The colors really pop. Even more so now, I think, with the Hitman 3 update. I think they touched up some of the visuals. Let's do it. The newspaper title doesn't make sense. What does it say? Did they fuck up their Italian? <laughs> So we have the florist who crashed out here. You know where it is. Big mansion up in Sapienza. Rich's family on the coast. Come on, Dante, just do this for me. Those flowers have to be delivered today, and Mr. Caruso is a loyal customer. If we lose his business, the boss will fire me for sure. Come on. Ugh. Fine, fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bother. Yeah, I know I gotta tell her about the accident. I just I'm working on my story. Yeah, later. Plasmic, thank you for the seven months. You Cheers. Mm, I don't think we're gonna bother with the flowers. Eliminate Silvio. Caruso, Francesca DeSantis, and destroy the virus. Three objectives this time. Let me look at the uh, description for these people. This is our Naomi Hunter. A brilliant research scientist, Francesca DeSantis is the current lab head on the virus project. The daughter of a neoclassical composer and a stage designer, DeSantis grew up in suburban Florence. However, she quickly manifested herself as cut from a very different cloth than her left field parents. She pursued a scientific career, quickly gaining a reputation for her thoroughness and single mindedness, single minded perseverance. However, a born cynic and fiercely career driven liber libertarian, DeSantis was always more focused on advancement and climbing the corporate ladder. To reach the coveted position as regional head of R&D at the Ether Corporation, one of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies, DeSantis agreed to go undercover at Silvio Caruso's field lab to spy on him and make sure he doesn't unravel. If he becomes a threat to the project or the company, DeSantis has been instructed to have Caruso eliminated and carry on the work in his place, an order she has little qualms with. Francesca DeSantis comes across as charming, sophisticated, warm, caring, and sensuous, but makes no mistake, but make no mistake, she is generally the smartest person in the room and two steps ahead of everyone else. This ability to appear innocent while stabbing people in the back is exactly what makes her dangerous. Hey, what's up, Dave? How's it going, man? And Silvio, arguably one of the world's finest stem cell researchers, Silvio Caruso is... However, a troubled genius, neurotic, angst-ridden, and intensely socially awkward. The last descendant in a line of rural aristocrats, Caruso is the youngest of three brothers. His mother, Isabella, a once free-spirited academic, became a widow early and never remarried. After Silvio's twin older brother ran away from home and disappeared without a trace, Isabella clung to her one remaining son and grew bitter and possessive. For years, she cowed the already shy, withdrawn, and emotionally fragile Silvio, making him feel like a failure so he would remain devoted to only her. 
Because of his mother's psychological abuse, Silvio developed a strong case of gynophobia, or fear of women. This, of course, suited Isabella just fine. Caruso had an intense love-hate relationship with his mother, but even more so, he despised himself for not being strong enough to oppose her. Two years ago, shortly after Isabella died in her sleep from seemingly natural causes, the Ether Corporation offered Caruso to spearhead a research project with, with capacity to change modern warfare and shift the global balance of power from states to individuals. A DNA-specific virus capable of targeting anyone in the world, invisible and indestructible. The idea struck a chord with Caruso. He had always been weak, bullied as a child, taunted by girls, manipulated by his mother. But here was a weapon that could turn the weak into hunters and the powerful into prey. He persuaded Ether to install a state-of-the-art research lab at his family estate so he would not need to leave his home. Then he went to work. Silvio's, Silvio Caruso's demeanor is reserved and awkward, shifting between crippling insecurity and megalomania. He speaks in fits and starts as if social, as if social interaction causes him great physical pain. This one might seem harmless, 47, but I assure you, he is anything but. It's like, uh, Psycho meets Metal Gear. <clears throat> okay, where are we gonna go first? Uh, there's a stoner living around here. We could go pay him a visit. The back streets here are pretty uh, clear, I think, from what I remember. Yeah, Silvio is one of the more sympathetic targets that you take out if you follow his whole story and you do all of the unique interactions with him. You know, he's a really uh, troubled guy. You can terrorize him by making him think his mother is still alive. Shit like that. Starts to lose his mind. Um, I guess I could just let the camera see me looking for a safe spot to just shoot it out moldy toblerone with the 55 months thank you oh hey dave thank you for the raid as well cheers man bluey with the 100 bits too cheers man Uh, can we backseat? Yeah, yeah, sure, go no, ahead. No, no, I, I, I don't want to. I'm trying to remember, something's coming back to me. I think you can destroy cameras with crowbars, can't you? Like, if I just threw a crowbar up and it landed on the camera, I think that does destroy the camera. And I think that can be pretty useful. Like, I think if someone sees you throw a crowbar at a camera, I don't think you'll... You know, they'll lose their minds over it. Like they will with a gun. I think, anyway. I have a good spot. You can shoot out everyone from the tower inside. Um, oh, like take out the two main targets from the tower up there with a sniper? Right, yeah, I, I don't think I'll, uh, I'll do that. But that's cool. Hello there. This is in the back of the ice cream shop. I 
I guess. I like beating the hippie on top of the tower as well. That's that's what I'm planning to do. Did you get the explosive golf ball? I did, yeah, yeah. I remember you having a lot of fun with that golf ball, Vlad. <laughs> yeah, Sapienza is a fun uh, mission. How's it, how's it going, everyone? We cool? Okay, didn't hear that. Uh, I'll take that kitchen knife. Uh, ooh, rat poison, okay. Oh, shit. Fuck, who are you? Oh, God. I've... We might have to go kill him straight away here. Okay, he's he's washing his hands. Fuck. Uh, anyone else watching here? Right, you're going down. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, I can. I'm not sure if I ever dressed up as a kitchen assistant before. Let's leave him there for now. I'm sure he's fine. Come on, make up your mind. This is just whatever. Okay. The only guy who works here who knows who'll see through my disguise is that guy. Maybe he owns the place. The head chef. Oh, this Dr. is the psych Lafayette. this is the psychologist I remember now, yeah. Just so. I'm outside Villa Caruso now enjoying a coffee in the sun. Yeah. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Hmm, very well. Don't you worry. Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. And you as well. According to, to Dr. Lafayette's phone call, Ether has hired the world-renowned psychologist to treat Silvio Caruso. No doubt they are concerned about the bioengineer's mental health. The session will take place in private, and furthermore, our records show that Caruso and Lafayette have not previously met. Uh, ooh, a load of coins uh, on the table. I guess this is this is a tip that someone left. I'll take it. Could always use a few more coins. Oh, fuck. I had all that time to, to spike his drink. Oh, I can poison it right here, right now. Do it. Hey, man, get your hands off that. Hold on. Before you drink it, there you go. <laughs> Normally, that's an illegal action. But if you are a member of the staff, you're allowed to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain, actually. That's, oh, that's inconvenient. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 are you okay? You want a glass of soda water or spritzer or something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Um, bum, bum. Just protecting their investment. They put a 
lot of dough into this project. Whatever. <laughs> If I drown him on Master Difficulty, I won't be able to dress up as him. I almost forgot. It ruins the outfit, but only on the highest difficulty. That was very tempting, though. Slick. Ooh, looking good. Looking sharp. Shut up. Oh, I'm very tempted to kill you. Um, right, so now we have the ability to just go straight into the house and interview Caruso. However, let's go climb. Uh, that's just the same place. That's the the ice cream place. Cafe. I love this music. Uh, turn on the radio. I don't think there's anyone here, is there? Hey! There's the stoner upstairs. Oh! Briefcase, okay. Well, make me look more professional. Suits the vibe I have going here. Uh, pick up a bust. Couldn't hurt. Enforcer camera. Do all cameras have dots above them like that? I don't think they do. Does an enforcer camera mean that you'll be hunted if you stay underneath it for too long? I guess it does. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that that guy would have a, a camera. You're trespassing, so it would be an illegal action to be seen. Right. What about that camera outside, though? You know the camera that I was trying to avoid earlier? If that camera saw me... It would still give me, like, the same, you know, I, it, it, I'd i be yellow. It wouldn't fuck up my silent assassin. But if I let this thing see me for too long, does that mean it will fuck up my silent assassin? Like, what state of alert do we go into if I let this camera see me for too long? Being seen here would ruin Silent Assassin, right. So, the camera saw me, but it didn't see me for long enough. Yeah, I'm just, I, I just can't remember dealing with cameras like this. Make love, not war. My SA icon is yellow, though. Yeah, yeah. Which means I can still preserve my silent assassin as long as I destroy the, ev the evidence.
Um, I don't want your outfit, man, but I will take the joint. Thank you. View intel. What is the intel on this cannabis joint? A joint belonging to the apartment's bohemian owner. Potent stuff. It's useful to cause sleepiness and increased appetite. Unfortunately, we can't smoke it. You can use this, though, to, uh, to knock Caruso out. Or you can use it. De DeSantis will also smoke it as well, I think. They'll both smoke it. Ashtray here, nice. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about anyone else coming up here finding this guy. We just leave him there. Cool. Yeah, I had to leave the briefcase there. You can't shimmy and carry a briefcase. Fuck. Okay, maybe we can still get it when we go down. No, 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 no. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Can I... I'm assuming I can't climb down. Yeah, 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 yeah. JMP, 50 months. Time sure does fly. Cheers, man. Okay, where am I now? Back down in this guy's place. Yeah. Can I climb all the way down from here? Love the colors. Very pretty. Uh, wait, does that say something else there? Climb through? No. Nope. Nope. I'm playing this on PS5, yeah. Okay, nice. You! Did you take- you took my fucking briefcase. I knew there was something up with you. Wait, no! What are you doing with my briefcase? You smell a bit. What? Just because he's wearing a fucking black suit doesn't mean that's he owns every fucking briefcase in the city. What is this? And where is this guy going to go with this briefcase? Usually he just sits there, doesn't he? He's the guy that was just sitting there earlier. Maybe it is his briefcase. Where are you going? Isn't he a guard? Right, may, right. I guess he's one of the... One of the guards. So he'll take it to like lost and found or something. Right, okay. That makes more sense. I didn't think he was a guard. I thought he was just a regular civilian and he just said, yeah, I'll take this briefcase. <laughs> I wish that's what happened. Yeah, I thought he was just a regular civilian, just the way he was chilling. He was just chilling, sitting on the bench like a regular civilian. He didn't look like he was uh, security or anything. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why is he taking this briefcase? Yeah, yeah, of course he's security. Look at him. 
Uh, where are you put this briefcase? Are you just gonna put it here? What the hell is that? All right, cheers, man. See you later. <laughs> what the hell is this guy? Um. Yeah, you're allowed to pick up stuff from Lost and Found, as long as it's a legal item. If it was a gun that he brought to Lost and Found, I wouldn't be allowed to pick that up. But if it's a... Uh, if it's a legal item that you're allowed to carry, you can take it. Uh, I forgot to delete the camera record. Yeah, you, d you can delete the footage from in there, can't you? Well, we can do that later on. It's okay. Um, there's also this guy up here. Get down here this instant, Rocco. You'd be late to your first day at work. Relax. It's all good. You just gotta put some pants on. No, it's you who should relax with that attitude. I got you this job. If you disappoint Chef Marcello, I will disappoint Chef Marcello. You got that? Oh, please. Like, you want to wait on that weirdo Caruso for the rest of your life? Come on, you gotta think big, sis. This, man, all this here is just temporary. Oh, blah, blah. But you've always got excuses, Rocco. Just like Dad. But I don't want to lose this job, and you promised me you would do right this time. So please, do this for me. <clears throat> okay. Don't get it. I'll be right there. Oh, how I can love someone that useless. It's a mystery. Oh, no. I'm always dating men who are like my brother. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> okay, so this guy got a job to work as a chef at the Caruso Mansion. Guess we can go up and uh, take his place. Uh, we could have also followed her straight through when she opened this door. Need a key card to get through. It's another way. Doctor Lafayette, ciao. Please come in. Wow, you know who I am. How the fuck do you know who I am? Delicious agilo de sardinha. In. You must try it, or take a look around. I'm at your service. Um. Yeah, no, I don't think I have anything to do here. Let's go and say hi to uh, Rocco or whatever his name is. I don't think anyone lives there. Hey, here's the golf ball. Explosive golf ball. A golf ball that detonates upon impact. Upon contact. Uh, another knife. Couldn't hurt. Another gun, I guess. Couldn't hurt. Um, let's not go out there just yet. I don't think I really want to take the chef route this time, but... Let's just go in here anyway, just to see what's up. But, uh, you mind taking a couple steps back? Hey, I know you. I read your book, man. I totally didn't get it. Oh, cool. I didn't know that he had a unique reaction to you as the psychologist. 
Uh, excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. You mind taking a couple steps back? I guess he's famous. He has books. Fuck you! Uh, yeah, I'll take the mansion key card. That might come in handy. Uh, we can just leave him here. Playing Hitman uh, Absolution here. Um. I think that's a Hitman Absolution wallpaper, isn't it? Oh, it's it's Sniper Assassin. That's one of the earlier ones, isn't it? Looks like blood money. Let's hold on. Let's confirm. Let's take out the camera. Hitman Sniper Challenge. Uh, I don't think that's the name of a game, is it? That's that's a game within a game. It's Hitman Absolution DLC. It's not DLC. What a bag of worms. Um, okay, well, well, I think we can leave him here. I'll take my briefcase. Ah, yeah, I knew I wouldn't be able to bring the briefcase. Nope. Uh, no, 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 no. Put that away. Pre-order bonus. <laughs> Fuck these Hitman games. Why are they so confusing? I thought it was just this game that was packaged in a confusing manner. I thought it was just this trilogy. It seems like all of them are fucking confusing. Um, combat knife. I think we can find uh, like a priest outfit here as well. Some hardcore guy is uh, living in this place. Guns, combat knives. <clears throat> Sniper challenge was like a mini ground zeros for absolution that came out before the game. Okay, okay. Left the stove on. Church key. Church staff. Uh, I think I'm cool with the current outfit. Oh, fuck! Jesus. Everyone down there knows I don't live here, huh? Wow. I guess everyone knows the local priest, if the local priest lives here. Okay. Right, let's, um, let's, let's go through the, the gate. Let's have our meeting.
Dr. Oscar Lafayette, here to see Mr. Caruso. We need to get frisked. Okay, hold on. Maybe we'll conceal something first in this briefcase. Um... Okay, am I safe to drop this shit? <laughs> uh, just a bust, uh, a pale duck, a joint, a golf ball, a few coins, a camera, a lockpick. You won't find anything too suspicious on me, I'm afraid. Are you carrying anything that could be seen as a potential danger? No? You're good to go, sir. Right Thank in. you for your patience. Hey, nobody's gonna guide me. Poison's working. Let's just hope the escaped critters haven't had time to multiply. That's a private lawsuit just waiting to happen. I, I love 47's lawsuit. little hand stretches. It's a really nice touch. What's up, Doc? Oscar Lafayette. I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. Ah, yes. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. I shall take you to his quarters. And may I say, it is well that you are here, Doctor. The Master has not been himself lately. I... well, I only hope you are as good as they say. Don't worry. I am. Doctor? Have a nice day, Doc. I'm just torn now. Do I want to kill him during the session, or will I keep him alive? Go for the easy kill. Keep him alive. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Doc? Shut up. Senor Caruso's private quarters. I will be downstairs if needed. Best of luck. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just going to take a look around. Pose. Ooh, man. Looking very sharp. I love the shades. The renowned that is Silvio Caruso. Mr. Caruso. Well, not shades. Shall we begin? If you insist. Glasses. So, Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. They must think I'm losing it again. Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it obvious? I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in 
the strangest ways, I am told. Your mother, Isabella. Would you like to talk about her? Look, I... I know what you're driving at. My neuroses. My anxiety. My social phobias. Not the least my pathological fear of women. It's all deeply rooted. Go on. I had a girlfriend, you know. In high school. Pretty, too. Popular. And I was shy. Bookish. It shouldn't have worked. Not outside those stupid teen dramedies. But it did. For a short while, anyway. Then Mother decided that Emilio wasn't a good influence. Oh, on no. Me. So she paid the gardener's son to seduce her. Oh, God. He was 20. Roguish. Rode a motorcycle. <laughs> Mother, she, she had pictures taken. Irresistible. Showed them to me on prom night. Cruel. Romantic love is fleeting, she said. Only a mother's love endures. What, what do you want me to say? I loved my mother. I hated my mother. Same as everybody else. Isabella bullied you, shamed and belittled you, made you feel like a failure. All to keep you, a last and loyal son, from ever leaving, too. Stop it! I don't want to hear it! Your mother was a monster. Is that not why you killed her? What? How dare you? You couldn't breathe. She smothered you. So you smothered her. Is that how it happened? Yes! I did it. I did it. Are you happy now? Is that supposed to be cathartic? Well, guess again, Doctor. Back to the drawing board. I think we have made some excellent progress. Say. Oh, no! <laughs> I I thought that would have been his last line. Next up. Whoa, he teleported. <laughs> the self interrupt makes it even better. Uh, I don't know about that. I was I was kind of disappointed there. I just thought it would have really fit after that line. I guess the same time tomorrow was going to be his last line. I don't know. Because I thought maybe... I thought after the last line, maybe that was it, you know? You, you fucked your... I didn't know how long... I didn't know how long the game would give me to smother him after the last line of dialogue. So I really wanted to be careful. Um... Pick up safe combination. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, I guess it'll do. A node with a combination code. It likely opens the safe in the attic. Whatever Crusoe wants to conceal is of interest to us. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh fuck! Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. I found him like this. Um, okay, well, they don't suspect me, I guess. That's cool. Hey, Mr. Caruso, you're here somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Did they even see him on the couch? Did they, when they walked in, did they, did they... Did they assume he was asleep with his dialogue? Is that what their dialogue suggested when they walked in? I didn't really get to hear what they said when they walked in. Okay, so when they walk in, they, they do assume that he's asleep. But then they come out here and they look for him. So I guess their dialogue out here doesn't make sense, but their reaction in there does make sense. Okay. 
unless I misinterpreted what they just said there. But I think the implication there was that they were looking for him after they saw him asleep in the room, they think. Okay. Um, what are you, what do you, what are you saying? You have something to say. Okay, we have two more objectives. Eliminate Francesca and destroy Fox Dye. Please don't breathe right in my face. Oh, the explosive golf ball, man. You just want to throw it at everyone. Okay, we cool? We cool? Hello, Dr. Lafayette. Shut up. <sighs> oh! Wait, no, no, we're cool. He's just... Temporary enforcer. What? Now don't show yourself here again. Okay, we fucked our silent assassin rank. We're not allowed to go outside. It's okay either. We're not hunted or anything. I'm just not allowed outside. I need to be put in my place. Okay, um... So Francesca is in the building as well, seems like. Bum -ba -da -lum. How's it going? Am I allowed up on the third floor as this guy? It seems like I am. That is Francesca DeSantis. I can't even get into the box. Well, they have assembly instructions. <laughs> I put together one of those Swedish Napoli chairs last week. Now there was a challenge. Well, I can't believe Mr. Crusoe actually so bought So I ran into Roberto so last night at the bar. Besides, he said he was meeting you. I see. He, he shouldn't have. I mean, I thought he would never change it. <sighs> I never made it. Long shift. All work and no play, huh? I have never really understood the distinction. Touche. Be careful, though. Roberto's every bit the stud. You should have seen the girls flocking around. Her. It's like a regular wet t-shirt contest. <sighs> Roberto's a catch. He really is. Still, it's complicated. Always is, ma'am. Always will be. <clears throat> so, she's seeing some guy called Roberto. I think we can also dress up as Roberto. He's like the, the gardener or something for the Carusos, something like that. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know I wasn't allowed inside your office. Come on, man. I'm allowed in there. I'm allowed outside here, but I'm not allowed in here. I didn't even know that was your office until I was inside. Forgive me, please. Ah, strange. Can I climb in through the window there? Climb up this pipe! Oh shit, hey man. Uh, fucking subdue your ass! Now I'm mansion security. Now I'm allowed inside your office. Um, down we go, down we go. Oh, what's going on here? I'll take that. Okay. Let's see what you're up to, Silvio. Good opportunity here. This? Is he just going to keep looking ahead there? DNA sample. Killer here? It's a bit easy, isn't it? Uh, hey, man. What's going on? It's down. Uh, now destroy the virus. We cool? Mm. 
Biolab key card. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it <clears throat> seems both are within reach. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, we also want something from the safe in the attic. I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, nice view up here. Gorgeous colors. Bum 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 bum. This is impossible. Just look for a combination code like Ms. DeSantis said. Caruso's absent-minded. Likes to write things down. Yeah, but he wouldn't just leave it lying around for the cleaning staff to find. Could be jewelry and stuff inside. Staff wouldn't even know about the safe. They never come up here. That being said, if I was the doc, keep the code downstairs in my office, bedroom. On his phone? Yeah, well, DeSantis says try, okay? So, just try. Huh. I thought it was a good idea, too. All right. Where have we looked? I guess you can find the code in a few different areas. I got it from his body, didn't I? Took it from his corpse. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Command, I've arrived at the location, and it looks clear. Over. What? Fuck and go over here. So all the guards are supposed to be in caution here right now, but they were they had a unique interaction, so they didn't go back into caution until they had finished their interaction. <laughs> all right. Looks really janky, but it makes sense, I guess, if they're supposed to be in caution. Um, oh, you're right. Yeah, I guess they found her body below. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already fucked up my silent assassin, so I didn't even... I didn't even bother with hiding the body. But uh, I guess I should have anyway. Would have made uh, my life a bit easier, even if it... Even if my silent assassin was already fucked. Eat. Attic is clear. Over. Oh, this isn't good. Come in. Oh. God damn it. I haven't used a save yet. I think it might be time to use this golf ball. Uh, oh shit! Um, anyone else coming up to help this guy? I don't think anyone is. I don't think anyone else is capable of getting up here. Oh Command. Jesus! How do you read? Over. We need a bomb squad. I thought his whole body uh, obliterated there. Okay. Um. Right. What was the code for that safe again? DNA sample. Hair and skin cells belonging to Francesca DeSantis. Crusoe appears to be collecting DNA material on his closest allies as some kind of security policy. No doubt DeSantis would like to know about this. Right, well, she's already dead, so... That's something else we can do if we like. 
Right. I need to find a safe position and then make my save. And then we can go and complete the final objective. Is there any other exit up here? Eyes open! Oh, fuck. Fuck! Okay, right. Go, 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 go. Uh, back is Lafayette, maybe? Might be better off. Oh, shit! Uh... Thought it might, thought it, thought it might work. Didn't want to use a gun. Too loud. Um... Is that a goat? No, it's not a goat. I thought this... I thought this was a goat. Um... Okay, we have some security down here. No problem. Are you just gonna sit there and smoke? Where are you going? I think I'll stay dressed up as the psychologist. Oh, hey. What in the hell? How's it going? Um I think I'm going to dress up as the security again, because I want... Shit! Who sees me now? Okay, back is security. It's okay, we're good. Hey, man. How's it going? Ooh, is this another entrance into the lab? Right where I wanted to go. Nice lighting. <laughs> Look for some type of Come, Mr. Bigglesworth. Straight out of James Bond. Wah! Fucking scientist. Oh boy, you're in a world of trouble now. Oh, fuck. We cool? Yeah? Every everyone good? Did someone else see me? You hurt bad? We cool? I feel like just shooting down all these stalactites. Why not? Just go crazy and shoot down all the sal the stalactites, make everyone go crazy. Compromised? Am I really compromised, though? I seem to be pretty compromised. Uh, well, these security guards, I guess, aren't designated to this area, so we need to dress up as these guys. Different security. Uh, I feel like just going for it. Ah! Hey. 
Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have just went for it. We're, we're just kind of in that kind of vibe now, though. Uh, mysterious fish with the with the four years. Thank you. Right there. Okay, up here. This isn't where I came from, is it? This is this is a different entrance. Yeah, this is a different entrance. Where does this take me? Go, go, open this fucking door. Hey, you. Oh! I thought there was just one of you here! Back down! Back down! Ah! Up this way! Oh! We fucked up the whole mission. If Welcome only if, of 40. if I took my time with that last guy, we would have been okay, but I was just in a careless kind of mood. Um can spread the word of Christ. Okay, what do we do now? What approach do I want to take this time? Not using a save? Uh, I didn't have any saves to use. I'm playing on master difficulty. Which gives me one save per mission, and I didn't use my one save. My plan was to get to a safe. I should have just used it. As soon as I entered the lab, I should have used it. Because I was in a pretty safe position there. Disguise as dead body in church to kill DeSantis. There's one thing I never did. You can Francesca can go to the church, can't she? It doesn't it doesn't Francesca confess in the church and you can you can be the priest that that takes her confession. I don't think I ever did that. I'm not sure what you have to do to do that. Sapienza is a made-up location, yeah. It's based off a, um, a real town, though. Wear the clothes and just sit in the boot, and she will come. Okay, hold on, let's... Let's go and grab the priest outfit then. Hey, where are you? Rocco. Rocco. Oh. for the rest of your life come on you gotta think big. um this, this, man. yeah no fuck that guy bump by the lump take the golf ball Yeah, is it as simple as just getting in the outfit and waiting for her, or do you have to do something else? I feel like you have to do something else, but maybe not.
I love all the options you have here. You can dress up as the security guard in that room, the chef up above, and down here you have the the priest. Yeah, here it is. Wait, hold on. This is just church staff. Right, okay, that'll do for now. Bum, 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 ba -da -lum. Give my regards to the father. I will. Where is he? Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. It has been seven days since my last confession. Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um, uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake and a man lost his life. A good man. Someone I knew. He was... It was just a tiny little slip up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue and I want to pay my respect. Sir! Stop that now! Okay. Get, get back to it. Sorry I interrupted. Oh, she's going to start again. Speak, child. Um I made a mistake. You need to get your head checked, buddy. I made a mistake and a man lost his life. A good man. Someone I knew. Any large objects? This room. You could probably hey, stealthily knock me. out the priest while he's in there. <laughs> you know, if I had a bust right now and I took my opportunity in the right position, I could probably knock him out by throwing the bust in at him while he's in there. Uh, oh, fucking force. Better not be one of the drug fiends that sell has been. your perfectly formed ass for a fix of hash. What did you say? Uh, I wasn't listening to her story. I'm assuming her story is very relevant to what's going on with the Carusos and Francesca. What are you doing? Keep it down. Can I confess? <clears throat> okay. That man is possessed by the devil, and I have seen it before. Somebody call him. A lot of enforcers. Right, I'm just gonna hope. Right, okay. Let's go. Priest having a smoke. Uh, oh yeah, you are an enforcer as well, right? Any other enforcers around? I think I'm actually safe enough to strangle them right now. Looking at the radar. Fucking go for it. Go for it. What? Okay, I wasn't. Help! Hey, hey. Walk in. Dress up as him real quick. Real quick! Okay.
Um, well, they're going to know he's the priest, right? So I don't think this outfit is going to last for long. So, uh, does anyone know what the deal is with Francesca? What causes Francesca to come here? Anyone in chat? I just fizzle with the four months. Thank you, mysterious fish with the uh, with the four years. I'm pretty sure I thanked you earlier, fish, but thank you again. The big four year Martian. I don't think I thanked your gifted sub to Payacon. Thank you. Rocco with the four years as well. Thank you. Another big four year resub. Cheers, man. Hey, I'm glad you enjoy the Hitman. It's always fun coming back to this. Yeah, I never did the uh, the priest interaction with her, but I'm pretty sure it's it's a thing. Oh, this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's hot. Can you prove there's a god? Oh, man, I gotta get a new suit. Just Look asking. It's not that much of a sweat as I'm walking in a fish tank. It smells like hot garbage. Mm. I want to see how he reacts. Nobody else seems to mind me taking the coins. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, 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 what the hell do you think you're doing? That's my money. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, Fine Grande. You are most kind. This is the best crowd I ever had. <laughs> Okay, he changed his tune. Um, Go with God. What the fuck? I saw that. Had to do it. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Just curious, how do they react? He goes out to look, but one guy stays. Disappointed. Got more trouble. Who's there? Show yourself. Oh, he came out eventually. Hold on. Welcome to... Hmm, what about a, an explosion? What? what about an explosion over there? Man, something detonated in the proximity. We could have some kind of extremist on our hands. We need to flush whoever's out there out. Find who is some kind of extremist. 
Okay, well that's the way in. I wonder, does this guy like to have music turned on? He does. I really can't bother with this right now. Was off. I'm gonna go for it. Ah, camera. Bonjourno, chef. Hmm, I didn't grab the exploding golf ball this time. This guy, Caruso, he actually plays golf here. So you can set it down for him to hit and he goes flying. Hey, what's up, Az? This is a private area. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know, man. Hey, wake up. Oh, he's ratting me out. I saw. I... You, you are allowed to go into um, restricted areas, but you're only allowed to stay in them for a few seconds before you have to leave. You're not going to believe this, but I think I've just seen someone trespass. Okay. Although, yeah, won't they come after me now? Or maybe not. Wait, no, he went out to check, but he didn't notice anything was up. I guess as long as I'm outside the area, I'm still okay. I don't know. Place joint. Yeah, this is where you can put down the joint for Caruso. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. I won. You're no. Oh, it's the stud. Francesca likes Because no one calls, no doesn't answer. I wouldn't have put myself out there for an old shoot. Uh, <laughs> oh, he actually does leave his spot, does he? One who calls. I did say that, but uh, hey, the guy can change. So, did you get my message? You 
music to my ears. We'll meet up in your room, okay? I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. He's unusually patient today. No, please, surprise me. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> I can't do anything while this guy's looking. Really? What? Oh, he's gonna turn it off. Wow, this guy's really slack in here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Uh, I kind of want to just wrap this mission up now. How about it, just a simple snipe from here with the pistol? Nobody will know. Nobody will notice. Perfect. This fucking guy is still here. Ah! Oh. How did you know it was me? You just heard it. I guess because I was right beside it. I'm just coming from the direction of the shot. I mean, you never know, right? Could have worked. <laughs> um, no, that's not going to fool them or them. Yeah, you know, if they get baited by coins, you think I might have been able to fool them with my previous strat. The distraction shots in this are actually pretty cool. I remember fucking around quite a bit with them before. I forget exactly how they work now, but... You know, like, there's a difference between shooting one shot on the ground beside a guard compared to two shots compared to three. one shot on the ground beside them will usually just it'll be like a tiny distraction like it'll be kind of similar to throwing a coin two shots though that'll get them really alert like two quick shots in a row and I think three usually maybe there isn't a difference between two and three there's definitely a difference between one and two though like two shots they'll, they'll be like in caution So, yeah, I think I'm completely fucked if I'm dressed as security. That guy's still just hanging out there. <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> what got me there? Another camera? Oh shit, I didn't notice that one. Okay, okay. We try and snipe them. Cafe basement, put a sniper rifle in the cafe basement. All right, let's do that. Whoever was backseating like an hour and a half ago, I hope you're right. Someone said I could snipe both of the targets from up there. I was ready for it as well. I knew this camera was coming. It's okay. It's all uh, part of the plan or whatever. Command, we've lost visual. Target has escaped. Is there someone up here? No, there's not. Okay. Okay, super slick sniper. All according to plan. Uh, retrieve the item. Well, there was Francesca. How do we get uh, Caruso from up here, though? He never comes around the front. Or could I get her through the door? <clears throat> Wall bang? Sounds like some kind of perverse sexual act. Wall bang? Like climb on walls? You can shimmy on ledges, you know, that are attached to walls. Ooh. That's her office, right? Yeah, she's going to walk out here. There we go. She just keeps moving, though, doesn't she? She'll stop over there. She'll stop over there. Oh, can I climb out here as well? No, I can't.
target down. Next up, Silvio Caruso. Well, that worked. Oh! They know I'm here. Which makes sense, I guess. Are they gonna hunt me down? Oh, hey! <laughs> um. How can I get Caruso from here? Uh, can I zoom this thing in? Yeah, I don't think I have any good sniper rifles, unfortunately. No jump. Okay. Um, back to business again. I think when he goes in there, I think maybe he passes through there for a brief moment, but it might be hard to get him with this rifle. Fuck this, I'm sick of waiting around. Let's pack this up. <laughs> Just leave that carnage there. Three unconscious witnesses, that's okay. There doesn't appear to be bullet drop with with that rifle anyway, I don't think. Based off what we just saw. Hey, hurry up! You like your first day. Hmm. You can get another good vantage point up at the top of the church. I know there's you can get a fancy kill on him. He has a telescope up there in his little observatory. And you can bait him to look through the telescope and shoot him while he's looking through the telescope. You know, sh shoot through the telescope while he's looking through it. 
up on top of that roof. Shoot from there while he's looking through it over there. Pretty sure that's a fancy kill you can do anyway. Um, ruminator with the 14 months. Thank you. Oh yeah, I've seen people do some crazy shit with killing every NPC on the map. The, the second last mission in um, Hitman 3. I think I saw someone um, take every NPC in the map over to the grape smashing machine. The grape crusher. Hey, what's up, Fusorio? I can't remember if it crashed the game or not. I just remember it really slowing the game down. Uh, can I climb up here? This is another entrance into the Crusoe mansion. Oh my god. Did I ever kill Crusoe with the wood chipper? I don't think so. I've killed other people with the wood chipper though. I think I can grab this guy here and throw him off. Lump, -a -lump. Typical anomaly with the three months. Thank you. Come on, man. Okay, now I'm just gonna hope his friend doesn't see this. Uh, he saw it. Hey, people, this is the security announcement command. This is Big Dog. You copy? This is Big Dog. Find who's behind this. Do you want to come over here and see if you can find out who's behind it? Yeah, you do. Negative command. Got nothing so far. If you're a bitch, JMP, yeah, it is. I know you're right and uh, I have done that many times before but I think the game is also really good to be played uh, in the opposite sense as well there's way more tension when you don't when you can't save infinitely You're getting to grips with the game and you just want to figure out certain things, you know, what works, what doesn't work. But after a short while, I find that 
just being able to save and reload when you're doing that all the time it just kills the tension you know because there are no stakes um And the game is really good when you get to those clutch moments, you know, where you're like just about escaping from someone's sights or just about pulling something off. You know, there's so much tension in those clutch moments when you know there's a lot at stake, you know, when you when there's progress to lose. Um, okay, right, what do I want to do? Uh, 308 caliber with the two years. Thank you. Are these guys still up here? Is Silvio hiding now as well? Is he in some other spot completely? Where does he go when it's when it's alert mode? I have no idea. Where is he? What's he doing? Fuck off. Oh, I threw it too far. <laughs> I overshot that a bit. Um, Where are you going? Where are you taking me? Have I even been to this part of the level before? I don't know if I have. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad to see you. Target's locked in hand to hand. Yeah, I'm glad to see you too. Where are the sound effects? Okay, it's all good. Um I'll take that. Ooh, I think we might be in a good position. I oh no, I overshot the fucking If I had my briefcase, man. Except no, is he is he he is inside now, isn't he? Okay, when the alert dies down, is he going to come back out? Oh, I'm getting kind of tired now. I do kind of want to finish this level, though, before we wrap up. Okay, right, let's just... No fucking around, nothing. Welcome I'm gonna to just... Sapienza. Stay focused. I know what I'm doing. Watch this.
Here's the golf ball. Yes. I don't remember where the outfit is here. Mansion security. There we go. Pure focus. No silly mistakes. Just getting the job done. Assuming they'll let me through here. Yeah, they're not enforcers or anything. That's cool. Wait. Yeah, I can What's just up? walk straight through. They expect me to be armed. This one while nobody's looking. Nobody's looking. Do it. Ah! Okay. Perfect. One target down. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see their Bond game. I wonder how different it will be. Or, you know, I wonder what will carry over from these games. You could imagine it being, like, pretty Hitman-esque in a lot of ways considering how Bond-ish this feels a lot of the time. Have you played uh, much of these games, JMP? Oh, hurry up, Silvio. Jesus. I, I think we probably planted the golf ball right after he walked away from here. Hey, what's up? Throw the match. Here it comes.
Oh, nice, JMP. You're a big fan. Yeah, the gigantic levels can be a double-edged sword at times, it feels like. They can, they can start to feel exhausting to me. <laughs> there it is. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. It can be really fun learning them and all of their intricacies and and everything, but yeah, then after a while, you can start to feel exhausted by it. <clears throat> I feel like it's, it's a game you, I was saying this earlier, it's a game you really have to learn how to enjoy as well. If you're someone who just doesn't like it as it is, as you're encouraged to play normally, you know, professional difficulty with uh, with mission stories turned on and everything, it feels way too railroaded when you play with mission stories on, for me anyway. And with the quick saving all the time, I don't know, that really just started to kill the tension for me as well. And when I started playing it on Master, that's when I really started to just enjoy it a lot more. When I was, when I had limited saves. I would still play on Professional. I think usually when I was playing a mission for the first time, I would play on Professional to learn the map a bit. And then I would switch over to Master where there'd be a bit more tension. Francesca. <laughs> I, know, um, I know. I'm not the one who calls. I did say that. Hey, okay, what am I doing? So, did you get my message? Music to my ears. We'll meet up in your room, okay? I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. He's like. No, I don't have any coins either. Usually patient today. No bleed. Surprise me. Chapelle. You've pretty bad uh, OCD, don't you, JMP? I can imagine this game being a fucking OCD either nightmare or heaven with all the fucking challenges and like the checklists you can go through in this. <laughs> With all of the uh, side objectives and shit. Or just with, yeah, with, with just the huge lists of challenges. Um. What? Yes, go down there. Got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Uh. Hello there. Ah, fuck. Hello. You gotta be kidding. Hey, you better. Oh, ah! Stop guy, huh? Not I just couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist. Shame on you! Okay, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I was I was hoping to at least finish this mission once um before finishing today, but you know, I just got caught up in my bullshit. Um guys, I'm gonna wrap up here for now. But we'll definitely get back to this in the near future. Uh, for my next stream, I think I'll do uh, more Acid, I would say. More more Acid 2. Most likely. Anyway, maybe I'll come back and do more of this. We'll see. Either way, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining today. Hope you enjoyed. 
a little return to Hitman. Um, hopefully I can stay committed to this playthrough and actually go through the whole story. But yeah, Hitman does kind of drain on me, like I was saying. I really enjoy it, but then I get really exhausted by it. Just how overwhelming the huge levels can be and just how stubborn I can be playing on master difficulty and wanting to do things uh, how I do them. But yeah, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Uh, Xenos, thank you for the two years as well. Cheers. Did I miss anyone else? Uh, Caliber with the two years. Typical anomaly. Ruminator. Everyone else. Yeah, thanks for being here, everyone. And um, I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Peace.